Oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sims 2 soundtrack. Okay. I'm ready, gamers. Who's ready to play some Sims? I am. <laughs> um, I hope you had a good couple of days. Hope you had a good night last night. I'm very excited to play some Sims today, I think. Um, how's my day? I've been good, Moxie. I've been good. I did some recording and stuff. A um, little bit of cleaning. I've been doing a lot of laundry today. Like, washing the sheets and stuff, you know? So, <laughs> um, you know, typical, typical weekend stuff. Meeting Rick Ashley in real life tomorrow. Not a joke. We'll talk about that. <laughs> um, yeah, that's tomorrow. I know, I feel a bit sick thinking about it. Um, everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm good. Fine. <laughs> anyway, that's tomorrow, so... Oh boy. <laughs> um, yeah, again, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Also, Gap, thank you, Buster, with the subs, both of you. Thank you so much. Um, oh, maybe I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can't think about it. <laughs> it's making me nervous. <laughs> Green Vanilla Team, Purple Nova, Abby, Alex, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, he already knows what to expect. It'll be great. <sighs> yeah, it's just terrifying. It's terrifying. What's tomorrow? I'm meeting Rick Astley in real life tomorrow. He's coming on tour. He's right now tonight. He's in Sunrise, Florida. Tomorrow he's in Orlando, Florida on tour. Um, and I'm going to the concert and I'm meant to meet him beforehand. Sunrise is like near Miami Bruin. Um, a lot of people go to Sunrise on tour. <laughs> um, it's like kind of near Miami down there. So Anyway, I'm absolutely terrified. When I think about it, I feel sick. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Hey, Wick and Ingo and Gemily and Green and Purple Nova and Abby and Alex, thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. Um, it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, it will be. It will be. But it's still terrifying. You're surprised you didn't get a notification yet, but you're glad you checked? Oh, well, friend, I only went live two minutes ago, so it give, give Twitch time. It looks like the notifications have gone out right now. Do you see all the highs? That's how you can tell when the notifications go out, because all of a sudden, everybody starts being like, hello, <laughs> all at once. Um, so that one, that's the notifications going out. <laughs> so you might have gotten one now. Um, but anyway, it takes a sec. It takes a sec. <laughs> hey, Emmy and I and Bug and Laura, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, not so very challenge. Oh boy, <laughs> it should be fun. Thought I was live for a while. No, no, no. I, I literally just went live. You, you you just caught me right as I was going live, so. I'm here. Pay attention to me, says Rochella. Okay. What do you have to tell us about, Shella? If we're gonna pay attention, you better, like, take advantage of this moment. Do you have any, like, big news to share? Any jokes to tell? I mean, are you gonna entertain us? Perhaps? <laughs> Hey, Frog, Mandolin, All She Says, Moonlight, Mrs. Starchild, Meg, uh, Tan and Jazz and Allison and Isu and Madfly and Gentle and Lily and Brush and Emmy. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, but anyway. <laughs> anyway, I posted, speaking of Rick Astley and how I'm meeting him in real life tomorrow, I did post the video on YouTube today of like the playback um, from the live stream we did with Rick last weekend. That was last Saturday. I posted the video, like, it cut down onto YouTube today. It's still 30 minutes long. Um, but we did cut it down into a video today. <laughs> so, yeah, Hope is, like, sweating just thinking about it. <laughs> hey, Hope, are you excited to do the closed captions on a second long video with two people speaking in, in just a few days? <laughs> I don't usually post collab videos, um, so... <laughs> I was, I was joking to Hope earlier about how I have totally ruined both Hope and Dan's lives with this video because it took Dan like three days to edit it and now Hope has to do the captions on it. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I'm a life ruiner, yeah. Oh well. <laughs> Quinoa Super, Snail, Kayla, Fab, uh, Squash, Anonymous, Fen, Aldi, and Nick, and Unicorn, and JD, and Stanky, and Pep. Thank you for the subs, April, too. Thank you so much. Um, but anyway, so we're playing with my Potts family today. 
Um, we've got a few sort of exciting things going on. We finished our aspiration, so we can pick a new one, which is quite exciting. Um, and so with that, we are now officially level 10 in the politician career. We've maxed the charisma skill. We finished the aspiration. The only thing that we still have to do is get married as an elder, but like, we're only a young adult, so <laughs> we can't really do that yet. Um, we have to kind of get a move on with the time, I suppose. Um, and Honey is going to become a teenager in about four days, so... Um, <laughs> but that's kind of the update, so we'll get to work on a bunch of Honey's things. We might be able to age Honey up into a teen today. I guess we'll see how that goes, but we might be able to get that today. How long have I been live? Oh, don't worry, I've only been live for 5 minutes and 46 seconds. My friend, you really have not missed much. Don't worry, I just went live. <laughs> Literally just went live. Um, hey Holly, Savannah, Bonnie, thank you for the subs too. Um, will Honey go to university? Probably not enthusiastic. I, I don't really want to do university with any of the Not So Very Sims. Um, I'd kind of rather, like, move on to the next gen as opposed to, like, do uni stuff, you know? Um, am I gonna use the high school pack with Honey? Well, that's the thing, Jenna. I would have liked to, but I think that Honey is maybe gonna be a little bit too old for that. Like, I suppose... Honey will probably age up into a teen today, and so if we wanted to use the high school pack with Honey, we'd probably have to, like, stop playing Not So Berry until the end of the month when the high school pack comes out. Um, because I think that they might be a little bit too old. Maybe, so maybe for Honey's kids, like, the next gen, play The Sims 4 for five hours. Um, I'm sorry. Five hours, you say? <laughs> um, I think I may have played a little bit more than five hours in this save. Uh, just a theory. Um, but this is the 13th generation. So I'm just gonna go out on a whim here and guess that maybe I've played a little bit longer than five hours in this save. <laughs> You know, may maybe a little, maybe more like six, right? Like, <laughs> yeah, Sims might be a little bit off with that one. Um, <laughs> I'm like, I've streamed this game, how many, how, this save, how many times now? Like, it's been like a year and a half. <laughs> hey, Kay, Lonnie, Temptuous, Affection, uh, Aizu, and Tada, and Miss, and Radical, and Holly, and everybody, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um... Maybe it's five hours of living on this lot? No, I think I've lived on this lot for more than... I've lived on this lot for like at least three streams though, Christine. So I think that we've probably played more like nine or ten hours in this lot. And then you also count like the building of it and stuff. I don't know. I don't know why it, guessed, why it said that. That's really weird. Because I've played in this like... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but... Maybe, do you think it's maybe, like, five hours since I, like, last save as or something? Oh, someone in chat just suggested that, too. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I last, like, save as made a new save five hours ago in-game. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, Lisa, Fluffy, Trapunzel, Tur, thank you for the subs and stuff. Uh, tomato Spotlight is fading. Oh, no. That is terrible. <laughs> Okay, you can get some leftovers. Um, I think my goal for today, we probably are going to age up Tomato. I mean, Tomato's going to become a yeah, an adult today anyway, but um, probably after work we'll age up Tomato, so that'll be kind of fun. Um, and then we'll see how everything else goes. Mostly we're going to work on skills and stuff for the child. Get a move on with the next gen, you know? Um, hey, Mad Flat, uh, Tuna, and Nat, and Emerald, and Casserole, and Moonlight, and Lisa, thank you for the subs. Happy birthday, Nat, by the way. Happy, happy birthday. That's very exciting. Um, everyone I know's birthdays are in July. <laughs> Not everyone, but, like, so many of, so many of my friends' birthdays are in July. You included. You included. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tomato? You know, Corinne, um, it's the Not So Berry Challenge. It's the Red Gen. Yeah, tomato. <laughs> you know, Hope, that's a really good question. Like, why have we never gotten any 
more aspirations for children in this game. You'd think they would have added more by now, or, like, done something to make it better by now, you know? It's so weird. But, whatever. Whatever. Um, oh, you need to finish your homework two times while focused. I guess you're going to school, so it's too late for you. Do you want to try? Come on. Maybe I'll make you late for school, just so that you can finish your homework. Oh, you're not even focused anymore, so never mind. Never mind, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. No, this is not still the Potter Splay lot, Katie. We moved out of that um, with the first generation of Not So Berry. So we played like 10 generations there, and then like last generation we moved to Strangerville, and now we're in San Mai Shuno. Um, so I built this like fake apartment building, and we live in like the second floor of it, basically. Um, hey, Blue Moon, Liam, Zelda, Moso, Ellie, Misty, and Verdi, and Yikes, and Lord Zelda, and Emma, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, I'll probably maybe see about having, like, their, their mom help with the homework and stuff later after school. That'll be easy. That'll be easy. Tomato needs a new challenge at work. Present some suggestions. Performance gain medium. Principal's visiting, hun visiting Honey's class. Okay, not my problem. The elevator is not functional, no, Fod. Um, there's no functional elevators in The Sims 4. There's, like, the fake ones that are in the apartment buildings, um, but this one doesn't actually do anything. You can't click on it. It won't take you to the second floor. You can't even have more than one elevator on the lot. So, you know in real life, when you have an elevator, there would be, like, an elevator shaft, and then they would, you know, release on each floor. You can't place more than one elevator on the lot in The Sims 4. These are, like, from Debug. So I've got it, like, fake in the lobby, but you have to use the stairs. Um, there's not actually functional elevators. So... Yeah, it's not even a woohoo spot. I know. It's annoying, but whatever. When will we be building Honey's new home? Oh, not yet, Victorian. My Sim's only a child. <laughs> they don't need a new house yet. It's too early for that. We don't need to build anything new for Honey for a long time. We can we can wait until um, they're actually like about to move out on their own. Um, so... <laughs> Yeah, there's a mod for functional elevators, I know, but I'm not that worried about it, Lou. Um, I just more, more care about it decorative-wise, so, you know. Um, there's lots of mods for lots of random little gameplay things, but I'm not super, like, needing them to work, so. <laughs> okay, if this would hurry up, that would be great, because I would like them to come home, because I'm going to have Tomato age up. And then we can give Tomato some new clothes, so that could be kind of fun. Honey becoming a homeowner at age 12. <laughs> yeah. People trying to make me have Honey move out already. Honey is a child. <laughs> um, no, we're not on short lifespan. We're playing on regular lifespan. I think it would be too hard to do not so very on short lifespan. There's too much to do. So. Okay. Let's make a cake, shall we? Shall we? Your Sims is glitched. You can't see their career or moods, etc. Liv, that's probably a mod glitch. Do you have any mods in your game? They probably are outdated. Um, try, try deleting them and re-downloading. If you've got UI cheats, it's probably what's causing it. You have an outdated version of the UI cheats mod and it's breaking the UI of your game. Um, so delete it and then download a fresh version. They have to update the mod every time there's a game update for The Sims 4. Um, add birthday candles. Okay, you can age up now, my friend. Happy birthday. You are now an adult. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> Did you age up or not? What the heck? You're going to cry? Is it bugged? I'm gonna save my game. Is my mint gen still alive? Oh no. She's long dead. Long dead. <laughs> she died like a month ago in real life. I posted the VOD on um, my second channel on YouTube today of Flossie dying. Why won't you age up? What the heck? Celebrate. Taste frosting. Maybe? There we go. Tomato aged up. Okay. Well, I'm gonna give you, I think, some new outfits then. I don't know. I don't know. Very bizarre. Weird glitch. I've seen it a couple times now. 
<laughs> Audrey, Pumpkin, Kaw, Oi with the Poodles, Jar Jar, Jupiter, Addy, Panda, Game, Thea, Willow, Artist, PB and J, Town Siren, Jenna, Book Lover, Emma, thank you for the subs. Okay. What do we got? Oh, we don't need a wedding dress anymore, probably. <laughs> Alright, now that I think about it, I suppose we don't need a wedding dress anymore. Um I might. I might switch some of these things out. Let's see what other options we have. Let's look at all the red stuff. It might be fun to get some, like, new, new outfits, you know? Um... That one's pretty cool. That's an option. That is an option. Um... I'm not really feeling any of these things. Oh, this kind of thing is quite fancy. That might be kind of fun. We could pick some different pants and then go for like a more... We could do like a skirt or something even. This sim is the president. Technically. Um, <laughs> so, I'm not even joking. This sim is literally the president. She's level 10 of the politics career. Um, so if we're gonna be the president, we need to, um, I suppose, maybe dress the part a little bit more. <laughs> this is President Potts right here. Um, I think that's nice. Hmm. President Tomato. Yeah, it's <laughs> literally Tomato for President. Yeah, she's dated all eight people, Hazel. Um, we've been doing a lot of dating recently. Um, I might get rid of this outfit. I think that's quite nice. I like that. <laughs> With love of the president wore crop tops. Yeah, I mean, listen. I think that she looks cute. Maybe we can give her one. Is there like a nicer, um... I want something more, like... Oh, well this is the same, but different. And that's not cropped. Is that better? Okay, fine. Fine. I suppose maybe the president isn't gonna wear a crop top. <laughs> maybe not. Whatever. Oh, this is good! This is really good. Okay, I need to get, like, something really high-waisted to pair with this, though. Um... Not high-waisted enough. TBH, most presidents I don't really want to see wearing a crop top. Well, you don't want to see Joe Biden in a crop top? I do. What are you talking about? <laughs> Cowboy and Laurie Oscar Bubbles, thank you for the subs and bits. Come on, Joe. Dress the part. Real presidents wear crop tops. <laughs> I think you could pull it off. I think you'd look good. Um... Okay, this is, like, slightly better, but I don't know if those are the best pants. Um, I also was thinking about maybe a skirt, but I don't know, I think I like the pants better. We could wear some, like, ripped jeans. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, nothing works. Sweatpants. I did like that those had a belt. I swear to you, I've never seen these in my life. This is the first time I'm seeing those. Oh, I'm about to give up. I don't know. Maybe those were the best option. These are kind of trendy. Maybe these are better. Yes? Mm 
Yes? I like how they're baggier. I think it's kind of cute. Water down, Carly, vibrant nightmare cowboy. Thank you for the subs. I like that. Okay, this is cool. Very presidential. I might give you a second dress as well. Maybe we could do something more like I'm going to a presidential banquet. <laughs> you know? Um, no, that's boring. That's boring. Boring, boring, boring. Okay. Not what I want, but not boring either. And it's not trendy enough. Um, I don't know. That's almost like too red. Could we do the black? Oh, maybe that's not presidential banquet. Oh, boring, 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 boring. This is boring too. Hmm. My red options are boring. Do you know what? Oh. I might I might do that one from the the new kit. No, not that one. It's similar because it's like a little but the black one, that's what I wanted. And then we compare it with like I don't know. I like the red shoes. This is fun. Are there any like cute I mean, that's all right. Or we could do something like base game, maybe. This could be all right. I think it looks good on her. I think she looks pretty. I'd have to argue that boring is very presidential banquet. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Okay, fair enough. Boring might be the the vibes for a presidential banquet, um, but it's still not fun enough for me. <laughs> it's The Sims, and my president can wear whatever she wants. So, um, okay. Let's think. Let's think. Um. I don't know if I like this one or not. I feel like I'm not sure about the shade of red. I think that's what's throwing me. Because I want to use it, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's gonna work. Is there anything like... No. 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 Does this have a good yellow swatch? Oh, that'll be good to know about for when honey ages up into a teen. Okay, keep that in mind, chat. I just feel like she wouldn't wear this. I just can't see it. She's never been like a very, I don't know, floral kind of girly. She's not very cottage core, yeah. <laughs> um. I don't know. I'm not sure about most of the dress options. Um. Oh. I'm like, can we pair this with some leggings? And then try and... Are we still going to presidential parties or is she supposed to let loose? <laughs> no, I think we're trying to find an in-between, okay? Because let's be real, you're not wearing this to a presidential party. That's just not happening. However, it's still cute. And that's what we want. Although, I guess I don't go to presidential parties, so I don't know what they wear to those, but... I'm just guessing it's not this. <laughs> A family party, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a family party outfit. So. Get a hair swap? No, I love this hair. I don't ever want to change it. I think it's so cute. I love this hairstyle. Swimwear's fine. Hot weather's fine, probably. Cold weather? Maybe we could update the cold weather. We could get, like, a fancy coat if we wanted to. It's just not the right color of red. Oh, this is more red. 
Oh, let's get like a more exciting coat. More, you know. I don't know, this is nice. I like that. She's an adult. She just became an adult today. She's not an elder. Um, okay. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, cute. Problem solved. Jacket's adorable. Yeah, I really like that too. I think it's a cute outfit. I'm excited about it. She's pretty. I really like Tomato. She's one of my favorite Sims. Like, all time. Hall of Fame. <laughs> she is president. Yeah, she's level 10 of the politics career. <laughs> Tomato is very pretty. Yeah, Cherry Blossom, she's actually Gen 12 as well of this family. We got lucky. We got lucky. Um, okay, anyway, we're awake, it's 6 p.m. Your fun is very low. Do you wish to, uh, maybe you could channel surf a little bit. Oh, the landlord's in my apartment. Hang on. Hang on. Let me put him back. One moment, please. <laughs> You're too high. Okay, landlord's back. Problem solved. Problem solved. Okay. <laughs> Betty didn't send a notice before entering the apartment either, huh? Shocking. Shocking. Anyways, there are days. Juju, Faye, Small, Ariad, Huffle, Shrek, Jake, Lilac, Nova. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. My little friend, I don't want you to finish that until you're focused. Because you need to finish your homework twice while focused. So I might get you one of those little focused lamps. Lighting. It's the green one. Okay. Okay. Enable emotional aura. Stop! Do your homework right there! What do you do? Did you finish it? Okay, good, you didn't. I was gonna get upset. <laughs> yeah, I built this apartment building, Caitlin, yeah. We did it on stream a while ago. Okay. Problem solved. Finish homework once while focused. Do some extra credit work. Do it again. Finish it twice while focused. Energetic is green. Um, maybe you mean a different one? Because this one is the university life one is focusing decor. Um, confident, inspiring. I don't know if any of these are. But this one is focusing decor. <laughs> Those lamps aren't from a pack, Panda. They're from having the Sims 3 packs. Um, so, that's why we have those. I don't know if you can still get them or not. I got those as like a reward when I bought The Sims 4 originally. Um, yeah, The Sims 3 lights with moods don't necessarily match the moods of the real life things, so. Nice. All right, you wanna craft three emotional potions. Let's get to work, little friend. Emotion potion, come on. Come on, get a move on. Get a move on. The dog's name is Lobster. <laughs> Logical bird, Nicole, thank you for the subs. Moonlight, happy birthday, friend. I hope you're having the best day. That's so exciting. Um. Okay. All right, create an emotion potion again. You need to make three, and then we need to get an A in school, which somehow I don't have, that's annoying. That's the last thing for the aspiration, though. <laughs> okay. One last one. One last one. Come on. Emotion potion. You're almost there. You're almost there. Don't worry. You got this. There we go. Three emotion potions. Now go to sleep. And then we can go and probably play some chess this weekend or something <laughs> to try and get our logic skill up. Um, Honey's gonna be a kid for two more days. Uh-oh. I would very much like to go to school on Monday to try and get an A. I'll be very upset if I don't finish the aspiration. Um, I thought I would have more time. 
Okay, you can go to bed. I mean, to sleep. I mean, to pee. Sorry. <laughs> I just misspoke like three times. Sorry. So sorry. Um, Honey's kids are going to be the fourth generation friends. So that's the gray gen. Honey is the yellow gen. Um, and the gray gen will be Honey's kids. And after that is plum, and then orange, and then pink, and then peach, and then green, and then blue, and then that is all. So. <laughs> Um, honey is gen three, so. Are you gonna finish eating? Did you finish sleeping? You didn't even sleep all the way through the night. What is wrong with you? Go to bed. Come on. I think honey will probably have like two kids, Leah. I don't know. Maybe, I think two would be good. I think that would be reasonable. Um, so. Ari, how old? Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, can Honey meet their partner on 6 You want Honey's partner to be an alien? Look, can I just say, if we do that, we have to keep having kids until one of them is not an alien. Because I'm sorry, I am not having an alien have, like, if we have an alien as the heir, all of the kids are going to be aliens from, like, here on out. So if we have kids with an alien... We have to have as many kids as we can until we get a human. So. Okay. Use the bathroom. Take a shower. Just cheat it? I guess we could just cheat it. That's true. I don't know. I don't need to think about that yet. Yeah, you can try for a baby. That's fine. We don't need to think about that yet. That's- Look, Honey is only a child. We don't need to think about Honey's kids. <laughs> honey is a child. We don't need to worry about that just yet. That's very far away. <laughs> What's wrong with having aliens? Candy, I just don't want every gen from here on out to be an alien. I don't really understand why that's an unreasonable thought. Like, I just don't want to have, like, all aliens from now on. If we, like, have an alien as the heir, then their kids are probably going to be aliens. And then their kids are probably going to be aliens. And it's just, like, I don't want to have all of the, the, the Sims be aliens from now on. <laughs> like... You know, I, it's it's too much. It's fun for, like, one gen, but... Um, I don't want to have aliens constantly <laughs> for the rest of time, you know? <laughs> um, but anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna table this, like Bruin says. Um, you know what? I love this look, actually. I think that tomato looks really good right now. I'm, I'm very pleased by that. Okay, you're gonna be sad for like six more hours. That's annoying. Do you want to call the sadness hotline? Yes? Yes? You just welcome the baby? Well, you literally asked me yesterday if you could have another baby. So did you, like, did you call me up, like, the second after you gave birth? <laughs> so, like, you you just have one and now you are, you're asking if you should have another one, like, same day? That feels like a little, um, a little soon. This feels like discrimination. About aliens in The Sims, Candy? You might want to rethink that one, my love. You might want to rethink that one. <laughs> what is wrong with you? That's an odd thing to say. That's a really odd thing to say. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, I'm gonna serve up some breakfast, I think. Um, okay, serve brunch pancakes, shall we? Yes, please. And then, so we're gonna have to get married as- Oh, I can pick a new aspiration. Maybe we could switch the soulmate aspiration from here. Um, but we aren't allowed to get married until we're an elder. But I think we're gonna remarry back to Eugene. So the storyline of what happened here, basically, we, we've been through a lot with this sim. <laughs> She's dated a lot of sims, obviously, um, in her day because of the aspiration, the serial romantic aspiration. Um, but originally, we dated in high school this guy named Eugene. Lean, mean, Eugene Green. Eugene's actually the father of our child. Um, and so we dated him in high school, had a kid together sort of like right after high school, got engaged, and then Tomato left him at the altar, like 
totally just dipped and left him at the altar. Broke his heart. Um, and then we went on to date, like, 20 other people, <laughs> as you can see. Um, but now, I think that it would be fun, because for the challenge, you have to get married only as an elder. I think it would be fun to get married to Eugene. Like, I think that, um, at this point in her life, um, maybe she's more willing to settle down. So maybe we could get, like, back with Eugene. We don't have to marry him until we're elders, but we could always date him now. We dated two Avas. Did we? Oh my god, we did. <laughs> we dated two people named Ava. <laughs> we have a type. Oh no, that actually sounds bad. A lot of our exes are also dead, which is a shame. Um, but, yikes. <laughs> okay, I'm crying out my sadness for the next two hours, it appears. Here we go. As soon as it goes away, I might call up Eugene and see if he wants to hang out. What if the three of us all went to the park or something? Oh, because your friend had a baby. You're excited. That's cute. A lot of the exes are dead. Well, I didn't kill them, Allo. They died of old age. Don't get so hung up on me. I'm not a killer, okay? They were old. And now they're not old anymore. That's all. It's not that deep. I didn't do anything. Charlie, Belgium, Princess, Josh, thanks for the subs. <laughs> okay, my Shuno Meadows. Um, let's see about bringing... Oh, no. Okay, Eugene. Honey. Be honest, would you vote for Tomato for president? I would. I think Tomato would make a good president. So. I mean, you know, she's... A bit odd. She's got, like, a pile of graves in her front yard. Um, talk about skeletons in your closet, am I right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that would really fly with the, um, the general public <laughs> when it comes to voting for her, but we could try. <laughs> Alright, let's smooth apology for Eugene here. Maybe the kid can go play in the park or something. I don't care if she's evil, I support her. That's the right idea. They're not even in the closet, they're out for all to see. Yeah, we don't even have skeletons in the closet, we just have skeletons. <laughs> skeletons full stop, like there's skeletons all over the place. <laughs> I support women's rights and wrongs. Exactly, Shella, as you should. Why would I join level five of the tech guru career when I'm level 10 of the politics career? I'm sorry, but like, why would I accept this job offer when I am currently level 10? Like... Oh no! Oh guys, this is not gonna be good. I was hoping it would be easy. But he thinks I'm an unpleasant. Alright, look, buddy. I'm sorry I left you at the altar. But I was young. And not ready to settle down. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Amanda, Charlie, Belgium, thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. Um. Okay. Um. Shall we try and, like... Maybe I'll just compliment your appearance. No, no, no. Let's do some little casual, like... No, don't blow a kiss. That's too, too much. Too much. Um... Romance? Compliment appearance. Casual? There we go. Casual. Maybe... Offer a rose? Uh oh. Okay, 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 okay. Kiss his hands. This isn't like in a romantic way, it's just friendly, you know? Nothing to see here. Casual. We're, we're going slow by attempting to seduce this man in the park, okay? Hey, you still single? You know, casual. 
Eugene is single. Slow. We're going slow. Okay. Um. Where did he go? <laughs> oh, he's right there. Sorry. I love his little teddy bear sweater. Maybe flirt? How about a smooth apology? Is that gonna go badly? I don't even know what I need to apologize for. Yeah? How about a heartfelt compliment? Yeah, imagine he got married to someone else. I wouldn't be that worried about it. If he got married to someone else, I would simply have him divorce them. I'm sorry to say it, but I'm not worried about it. I am much more important than them. Okay, I don't want to go too fast. What is wrong with you? Oh, you're cold. And your head is moving. Anyway, I don't want to move too fast just yet. I feel like it's, you know, I'm trying to go slow. Maybe I'll secure his vote while I'm here. <laughs> hey, you'll vote for me, right? Oh my god, the romance festival is in town? Oh, stop. Well, forget going slow. Let's go to the romance festival. I won't do anything bad. I'm not gonna, like, I probably won't even kiss him. Yet. Because we're going slow. We're taking it slow as to not put any pressure on him. Because previously I had broken this man's little heart and I left him at the altar. So I feel like I don't want to move too fast and then make him nervous. Bet you'll propose? Okay, I won't. I won't propose. Maybe I'll kiss him. But that's it. We aren't allowed to get married anyway. It's not allowed. It's not allowed in the challenge. We can't get married till we're elders. So, I might give him a rose at this fine romance festival evening, and then do you know what I should do? We should come ask about the current relationship. I think we should. Oh, you came to me? Okay. Oops. I hear wedding bells, but they sound cracked. Yeah. That, makes, that totally checks out. I left this guy at the altar like 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's, that's right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, we can get engaged before we're an elder, Bethy, but I only became an adult today. I only started revisiting this relationship an hour ago. I don't want to get engaged to him today. I'm trying to spread this out. I'm not gonna get engaged tonight. I know how the rules work. I wrote them, just so we're clear. <laughs> I know how the not so very challenge works, um, in case you didn't know. <laughs> I, I am moderately familiar with these rules. Um, I'm not doing the motive trials, leave me alone. No. Okay, joke about getting together. Mention flirty festival vibe. Declare heat of the moment passion. Oh my god, what if they end up woohooing tonight? I know that's not moving slow. <laughs> but why do I feel like that would happen? It's like been a long time they haven't seen each other. <laughs> Should we woohoo him? Maybe I will, I don't know. I'll think about it. I think that would be interesting. Come back. Okay. Oh, he's uncomfortable. And I'm bored. Oh, this is going wrong. Okay, let's get some food. We'll revisit. We'll revisit after we get some food. I'll get some puffer fish. Yeah, I think Tomato is really good at making bad decisions. I, I feel like she would do something like that. Oh, here's my friend who had the baby and then asked if they could have another baby. Current children six? And you're calling me up to ask if you should have more kids? <laughs> okay. I actually am, I feel bad. I should have said no. I didn't realize that you were having so many babies. That seems like a lot of work. 
I don't envy you. That's that is not for me. Um, that is not for me. Okay. Hello. Describe flirty dream about Eugene. Okay, he's feeling a bit embarrassed, so that puts me in an unfortunate position. Throw some petals? Maybe I shouldn't kiss him. I feel like I should bring him home before I do something like that. You know? Maybe I'll bring him home with me. <gasps> what is wrong with you? Okay. Sorry. <laughs> okay, you know what? I will say, I can't get mad because I cheated on this man. I left him at the altar. And then I, I mean like, he's not ready yet and that's okay. It's, we knew it was gonna take time. We knew it was gonna take time. We broke his heart. We have to regain his trust, okay? I, I knew that he wasn't ready. <laughs> he's, he's just still hurting. So, he needs time. He needs space. I'm impressed that he flirted back with me today. That's big. That's big for us. Okay? <laughs> Tomato might make bad decisions, but Eugene will not. Eugene's not trying to rush into anything anymore. He doesn't want to marry the president. All right, can I just say, I know we're joking about how she's rich and powerful, but can I just say, there is nothing I'd rather do less than be related to the president in any way, shape or form. I'm sorry, I don't even wanna be one of Biden's grandkids. I want nothing to do with that. No way am I trying to be married to the president. That's not for me. <laughs> like, I'm, no. <laughs> no, that's not for me. I didn't sign up for that. That's not my problem. <laughs> Leave me out of this. <laughs> so not interested in that. That seems very stressful and not fun. So, nope. Nope. Pass. Pass. No thank you. <laughs> That's why I married a Brit. Yeah, I don't have to worry about Dan becoming president because he can't. <laughs> That was the only reason that uh, Dan and I started dating. I thought, you know what? There's zero chance of you becoming president of the United States, so we're safe. <laughs> that was that's the main reason. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> Beans, Bella, Jess, Aries, Megan. Thank you for the subs, by the way. What if he's secret royalty? Who, Dan? I'm sorry. That might be even worse. I hate to say it, I want nothing to do with the royal family either. You thought Dan was American? Well, not quite. Um, not quite. <laughs> He's British. He only moved to the US last year, last July. It's been less than a year, actually. Um, but he is now. Well, I wouldn't quite say he's American yet. He might be a green card holder, but... <laughs> I think he might take offense to being called American. <laughs> but yeah, I want nothing to do with the royal family either. Oh my god, no. Leave me out of that stuff. Leave me out of that stuff. Okay, come on. It's almost Honey's birthday. You can't! You can't age up until you get an A in school on Monday. This is so important. Flora Dan, get it? Haha. <laughs> <laughs> he's not just American, he's Floridian. Mel, that's even worse. Even worse. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't mean that you're the subs. <laughs> yeah, really, little Dika. That's kind of how I'm feeling too, but this is the thing. If I wanted to play with a new pack with Honey, I'd have to like actually stop playing after today until the new pack comes out. And I don't really want to do that. So. I don't know. I guess we can make it. We'll make a new family when the new pack comes out to stream with. And that'll be alright. It's kind of fun to make some new sims sometimes anyway. So. How many partners has Tomato had? Um, Ella, you know, I haven't counted. But 
We've done a lot of dating and romancing in our day. We haven't done it. We haven't dated all these people officially. We dated like nine people officially. Um, but we did a lot of kissing and stuff um, with all these people. So quite a few, <laughs> quite a few. So make a fully new save just to exist in, in until high school. I guess that's an option as well. But I think I'd rather make a new save for the high school pack because that's the other thing. Like when the high school pack comes out, like, it might be fun to play in a household with more than one teen, right? Like, and we'd only have, we would only have Honey if we played in this one. So, it, like, when the high school, we could play with, like, two teens or something. Or, like, th even, like, three. Maybe there's triplets. I don't know. <laughs> like, but we could have a household with more than one teen. So we could have, like, different experiences going on when we stream with the high school pack when it comes out, you know? Um. But... I don't know, I'm kind of curious to see how it works. I wonder if you can go to school with all of them at once, or if you can just go with one at a time. We've kind of been talking about that, but I don't think any of us actually know. I mean, we'll find out, but um, it should be interesting. So, it should be interesting. Yes, you're a triplet. Oh, no way, that's fun. Um, well, maybe we'll, maybe, hang on, maybe I don't want to play with triplets. That does seem like a lot of work. <laughs> But it would be interesting. We could definitely do two. We could definitely do two. So, bring Stanley back to high school? Oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking about making a video. I think I'm definitely gonna, I'll probably do this when I have early access and then post the video like for the day the pack releases, but my plan is that I wanna make a video playing with me in high school. So maybe I'll play as me and I'll have Stanley Humphrey be my dad. That's an interesting dynamic, but maybe I'll have me and Stanley, and Stanley will be my dad and we'll go to high school. <laughs> but I was kind of thinking about making that video for the day the pack releases, so... Um, I think that should be fun. <laughs> Make it better than real life, live the dream? Yeah, well... I made this joke before, um, the joke being, at least my Sims dad's not gonna get cancer. <laughs> she won't have that problem the first week of high school. Um, score. <laughs> She's already way better off. <laughs> Sorry. It's funny. I'm good. <laughs> Can you get rich by going to school? That's a good question. I wonder if there's gonna be any new part-time jobs in the pack. I guess we'll see. I'm kind of curious to hear about it, though. Um, but, anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I'm still doing this. I guess I don't really need to be doing this, do I? I need to work on my, um, my logic skill. <sighs> Alright, new plan. New plan. I'm gonna get rid of these because I haven't used them a single time. And we'll put a chess table over here. And then I'll get some little chairs, perhaps? And we'll play some little chess. This way I will be able to get my logic skill higher. Because they need to max it when they're older. We're already level 3, which is not too bad. Um, but it'll be nice if we can get it, like, high up already. Maddie, this is in uh, San Maishuno. I built a fake apartment building. I, like, made a building. Obviously, it's a lot of it's empty. Um, but I built an apartment. And then we live in the second floor, so. Um, have I saved yet? Oh my god, no. Not a single time all stream. <laughs> Good call. Good call. <laughs> um, Emma, we're gonna need to max the rocket science skill, yeah. Uh, but we need to, um, we need to get, I think we need logic for the career. The actual rules are rocket science and handiness, but the kid can't do either of those, I don't think, as a child. Um, and so, um, I'm just working on logic, because that one I can actually get ahead with, so. They have supposedly fixed the rocket, yeah, Reese. There was supposed to be the rocket fix in one of the last two updates, um, I believe, I believe. So, um, I'm not certain. Um, 
Okay. Can you hurry up? Thank you. It's fixed. Can confirm your sympathy a little bill. Oh, good. Oh, good. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> they said they had to get it fixed before Simsy's yellow gen. Yeah, maybe. They were like, we have to make sure it's done before Simsy starts the yellow gen. It's important. <laughs> we want shell challenges? Oh, uh, what? I was actually planning on doing a shell challenge in the next couple of weeks. Um, I need to figure out the exact day still. Um, but I think maybe like next Friday or maybe next Thursday. I don't know. I was thinking about doing it, so. Three steps ahead of you. <laughs> Rockets work for you? Okay, good. I haven't tried one since the update, so. I don't know. I don't know. But I believe you. And I did see it in the patch notes, so. Should be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna wait for this to hurry up. Because I don't have anything else to do with this today, so. <laughs> you left your sim for a bit and now she's pregnant with Laddie Daddy's kid? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm actually sorry. So, um, yeah, hope you're okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Reminds you of when Rick said Vladdy Daddy. Rick Ashley did say Vladdy Daddy on my stream. Um, he did indeed say Vladdy Daddy on my stream. Okay, maybe I'll just wait until this skill gets completely maxed. And then, did I see the cast items for the pack? What, did that leak too, Anya? Oh my god. If that's true, I'm gonna actually be so sad. I don't wanna see. <laughs> I don't wanna see. <laughs> that's so sad. I feel so bad about that stuff happening so often. Like, that sucks so much. Um, okay, let's get some leftovers. Let's get some leftovers. I don't know if it's true or not, or if they're just making that up. Um, but I'm choosing, I, you know, I probably should have even said it out loud. <laughs> oh, maybe they mean, like, the Sims team, how they posted that stuff from Depop. That might be it. It might be the stuff the Sims team posted officially. Maybe it wasn't a leak. Um... That's good. That's good. Um, but anyway, I saw this off the Sims team posted on Twitter. I did see that, but um, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. You can use the bathroom, please. The dog's name is indeed Lobster. Yes, thank you for asking. <laughs> Okay, um, Elvin, yeah, I get to know that person better as a friend. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and go out to dinner with Eugene. That is my next plan. I'm going to get dinner at the old salt house with Eugene. Oops. I think I might have forgotten to dump Kelly. In which case, my bad, I need to work on that. So, so, <laughs> honey is Eugene's kid. Yeah, they dated when they were young. Um, they were like dated in high school and then they had the kid like straight out of high school. Then they got engaged and Tomato left him at the altar, raised honey by herself. And now they're thinking about maybe getting back together. So, so anyway. Oh, you're fine, Anya, don't worry. We're all just a little bit paranoid, I think, about the leaks and stuff, so. Um, anyway. <laughs> anyway, pathetic, Rocky, Lily, Lana, Erica, Trash, Julie, no it doesn't. Dawn, thank you for the subs and stuff. Ooh, I look good. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna come in here and request a table. Thank you very much. 
Oh, I should have requested a specific table. I like your hair. You're cool. Will you take me to a table? No, you're seating them and not me. I'm gonna be here all night at this rate. Take me here. Come on. Come on. Got another alien. So that's unfortunate. Dine out is broken. Well, a little, yes. Um, it seems I'm not being taken to a table, so. Oh no, I do have this table. I just haven't ordered for it yet. Okay, let's get some fancy stuff, honestly, like. Let's, let's order the good stuff. Let's get some of the most expensive things. Lobster, in honor of my dog named Lobster. Why not? Why not? Um, okay. Oh, I forgot he's wearing red. Um, I might just ask about day. Casual, 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 romance. Maybe blow a kiss. Oops, my laundry is done in the dryer. <laughs> I can hear it making a noise. It's beeping. Um, okay. Compliment appearance. Ask risque question, perhaps? Just casual stuff. Again, we're moving slow. We're trying again to see if the dating is good. They're matching because he wore that to our wedding, Nessie. Um, so... <laughs> So, just casual, blow a kiss maybe. My lobster is here. Ew, his looks nasty. Oh no. Well, that sucks. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. Um, mine turned out all right. I'm good. I'm good. No shade, why don't Americans dry their laundry outside in the sun? Amber, I think it just, it's not like Americans don't do that, but if you have a dryer in your house, why would you? Like, this house just had a dryer in it. So, like, I'm not gonna put my clothes outside when I have a dryer. But if I didn't have a dryer, I would hang them up to dry. I think that's just how life works. I don't- I wouldn't necessarily call that an American thing. Some people in Europe have dryers, too. <laughs> it just depends where you live and what you've got, so... Um, but anyway, I live in a place where there's a lot of rain as well. Um, so I, I don't know, I guess it'd be fine half the day, but I'd probably leave it up inside to dry and not outside. <laughs> um, but anyway, a lot of people, it's not like necessarily an American thing. It's just if whether or not you have a dryer or not. Um, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Um. People are so weird about that kind of thing. <laughs> it's not that deep. I just, if you had a dryer, you'd use it too. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. I've never needed to hang my clothes out to dry. That's lucky, I suppose. But um, I wouldn't necessarily call it an American thing. <laughs> um, hey, Jelly Bean, Chell, Sutui, Soap, uh, Nee, thank you all for the subs and stuff, by the way. It's against your parents' HOA to hang clothes outside. That is probably one of the most ridiculous things that I've ever heard in my entire life. A lot of HOAs prohibit drying clothes outside. Are you joking? Oh, it's 1 a.m. I should go home. I've never heard that before, and that's absurd. Um, <laughs> a lot of things you wash, uh, say don't tumble dry so you're forced to air dry. Oh yeah, well I think a lot of us probably have clothes that we hang up to dry. Um, I don't know, like I don't usually like dry my sweaters and stuff in the tumble dryer, but like right now I, I just had my sheets in the dryer. <laughs> um, and I won't lie, um, I'd rather dry those in the tumble dryer instead of waiting for them to dry, air dry. <laughs> so, um... But anyway, I think a lot of people air dry a lot of things, but, um, all right. 
All right. Um, all right. You are going to go to bed. You have no choice but to sleep. Same with you. Bedtime, 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 bedtime. Um, okay. Sleep, safe game, safe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bras should be washed in a linen bag and then hung to dry. All right, I won't lie. Um, I have never washed a bra in a linen bag, but I do hang them to dry. <laughs> I've never actually washed them in a linen bag, but I do hang them to dry, so. Um can guarantee you nobody does that. Maybe if you had like, I guess maybe if you had like nice bras. If I had a nice bra, I probably would do that. I would probably take better care of it. But I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But not in your yard? Well, I don't have a yard. I So I hang things to dry inside. Um. That's the other thing. <laughs> so, I have a little like patio that's mine, but I don't have a yard. Um, so, um, I don't have a garden. Don't own one single real bra. I have, I have one real bra. I have mostly, I mostly wear bralettes and stuff though. Not even a MIV yard? Oh, I get it, Christine. That's a good one. <laughs> Your dryer rip straps on clothes? Oh no, that's really annoying. That is no good. That is no good. Um, salad fingers, you're supposed to like air dry a lot of things, like like hang things to dry a lot of like, um, I don't know, like I was gonna say sensitive things, but I guess things that just might get like messed up in the dryer. Um, so you, like sometimes the fabric on clothes, it'll say like, oh, don't tumble dry this, like hang it to dry. Um, delicates, yes delicate, not sensitive. Um, and also things like bras and stuff can get messed up in the dryer. They don't always, I guess, but they can, so. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I lost three bread to my dryer last month. I think they meant bras, but that's really funny to say they lost bread to the dryer. They're like, yeah, I put my bread in the tumble dryer by accident. Um, lost it three times. <laughs> Not the bread, not the bread. Oh yeah, also things can come, um, some things can shrink in the dryer. Um, that's the other thing. Yeah, don't cook bread in the dryer. That seems like a five minute crafts kind of thing. Try and use your, your dryer to cook. <laughs> Uh-oh. I saw, was it the, was it a thing where, by the way, don't do this. But I, you know how they have like those channels that make all the fake hacks and stuff? like the five minute craft types. I saw one where they were telling you to try and make cotton candy in like your washer. I think it was cotton candy. I forget. I just know, I just know they were putting like a bunch of sugar and stuff into their washer. All you're gonna do that doesn't make cotton candy and it's gonna absolutely ruin your expensive appliance. I just, thinking about that stresses me out so much. So many things that those five minute crafts channels stress me, do stress me out so much. But you just think about how many kids might have like seen that and then been like, oh, I'm gonna try it. And then just totally ruin their parents' washers. It was the dryer, not the washer. Well, either way, it's bad. Like. Anyway, there's so many like dangerous ones they've done too. Like I just, ah, it stresses me out so much. I'm sure many of you relate, but stresses me out so much. Okay, everyone's at school. I'm gonna age up the kid when they get home. Wait, you have to work hard. Oh my God, study hard. We have to get an A. If we don't, I'm gonna be devastated. Why would you eat something from the dryer? Well, I don't even think it would turn out is the problem. Like, I don't know. Seeing other people do ridiculous things actually grounds and calms you. <laughs> all right, hope. Speak for yourself, I don't relate to that at all. I see things that are bad on the internet and I feel actual stress. Like actual stress. Can't do it, can't do it. Oh. <sighs> Okay, hurry up. Get home from school. Oh my God, we only have a couple hours. You have to get an A. If you don't get, oh, thank God. Okay, I was gonna say, if you don't get an A, I'm gonna be devastated, but it's fine. 
it's fine. Um, you know what I find upsetting? Those cakes that look like other things. It stresses me out so much and I don't know why. It causes you like actual stress, the cake. Well, don't watch that Netflix show, Is It Cake, then, because you'll re you won't like that. That won't be fun for you. <laughs> I don't think that stresses me out. A lot of things stress me out, but not that. Finally, Lil Simsy, <laughs> not stressed by something. <laughs> I have completed the whiz kid aspiration. So we build mental skills faster. Heck yes, okay. Let's make another one. Um, I haven't seen the whole show of Is It Cake, but I've seen a couple episodes. I hate when those cakes look like raw meat. Ew, there's cakes that look like raw meat. I find that stressful. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. All right, we gotta have to try and get some more points now. Okay, so as a teen, uh, Gen 3 needs the nerd brain aspiration. So as soon as my cake is ready, I will get it. Tomato, you can't dislike cooking. That would make it so difficult for me. You can't do that. Yes, that guy that makes the chocolate on TikTok, he also, by the way, has a Netflix show. I've only seen like one episode, but that guy with the chocolate on TikTok has a Netflix show where he like, um, it's like a competition and he's like the, the judge basically. And there's like a bunch of chocolate people that make all kinds of cool things. But yeah, that guy with the chocolate has a Netflix show. Um, I forget his name, I'm so sorry, but. <laughs> School of Chocolate is the show, I think. Um, but anyway, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. He makes, like, really impressive stuff out of chocolate. Only chocolate. Love how I understood the guy with the chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> but he makes these, like, enormous sculptures only out of chocolate. Okay. So, Honey's teenage traits. We need to have the clumsy, ambitious, and loner traits. I think I might get clumsy first, because that one amuses me. And then we need the nerd brain aspiration. Um, so I will grab that. Nerd brain, thank you. Finish reading three books, oh boy. Upgrade, handiness, rocket ship. Oh geez, all right. <sighs> Time to go dress them up. Let's do this. Let's do this. Testing cheats on cast.full edit mode. Okay. Modifying cast. Yeah, honey uses they, them pronouns. Yeah, everyone. Yes, indeed. Okay. How do we look? Oh, you're cute. Okay. What hairstyle did they have as a child? I've already forgotten. I don't know what hairstyle we'll pick as a, as a teen, but we got options and I'm excited. I like those eyebrows, I think. Space buns, oh yeah, we had the space buns. Oh, and it's cute because they like space. Get it? Cause they're gonna go to space with the, that was part of the reason we did that before. Are any of the- are, is there any, like, proper yellow swatches, like, of the dyed hair? I don't think so. No, none of it's good enough. Back to space buns. I think space buns will be good for now. Um, I lost them. <laughs> there we go. There we go, there we go. Do they have lipstick on? I don't know. Yes, they did have lipstick on. Um, okay. I gotta make sure we fix this. They were in their cold weather outfit. So once we pick both hairs, it should fix it. Okay. Um, do brown eyebrows so it looks more dyed. Oh, well, Jacqueline, I kind of want it to look like they have natural yellow hair. <laughs> I mean, we could do the brown eyebrows if you want, but I sort of like the idea of pretending their hair is yellow. So... <laughs> I don't know, we can maybe find some fun, like there's some, like these glasses have a cute yellow swatch. We've got some options. There's, these are also yellow. 
But I don't know, we can try and pick some things. Maybe I'll give them braces as a teen. We gotta do some things to kind of pretend that they're younger so that we can actually distinguish between like teenage and adult. I think I like these yellow glasses. Once they finish the nerd brain, they should do the grilled cheese aspiration. Yeah, I like that. You think the brownish brows was cute? Did you like the brown eyebrows better? Oh, we can do brown eyebrows. Fine, fine, fine. Do you want to give them some acne? We can like really try and embrace this teenage thing. This is kind of fun. I mean, a lot of people have acne that aren't teens, but I'm just trying to think of ways that we can make them seem like they're actually younger. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Okay, let's look at all the yellow stuff that we have. Literally everything yellow is fair game. Everything yellow is fair game. Mm -hmm. I don't know what exactly I want to go for. Mary's new favorite thing is pointing out my zits and stretch marks. Toddlers are jerks. Oh, Mary. If there's what kids are so, so honest. <laughs> Kids, they they just come right out with it. Like, <laughs> thank you, thank you, toddlers. Much appreciated. I'm feeling really good about that. Thank you. <laughs> we talked about this as an option, but I'm not sure if I actually want to wear it or not. Um, I might save that as an outfit category just so I can come back to it later if I want to. Um, you liked the overalls, the long ones? I didn't like the shirt under them. That was my problem with those. Let me scroll back to it. You liked these? I don't think I like the color of the shirt. I think that was part of my issue. Yeah, this is Werewolves Pack, this one. Um... And there was like a shorter one with like shorts, but I didn't like the color of it either. Um, give me a sec, I'm scrolling. I might have scrolled past it. The one from Cottage Living isn't yellow, so that's not happening. I know I clicked on it, but I clicked off because it's not yellow. Like, I'm sorry, this is, that's like orange and green. I don't think that's gonna work. They're cute. This is one of my favorite things in the game, but that one is not, it's not yellow enough. Um, is there anything like, I think I'd like a pattern for the shirt. Like I think I, I don't wanna do like a plain yellow sweater basically. Like, to me, something that has a little bit more to it would be good. Honestly, something like this, this is really simple, right? It's just like a jacket, but that kind of thing with some jeans might be kind of cute. We could always wear like two everyday outfits. We could have something pretty casual. I think this is cute and I think this kind of feels like something they would wear. I also like it with the glasses. And then we can just wear some jeans. I don't know which ones. These ones are pretty good. Or like... I don't know. Don't forget the werewolf top. Well, I know. We have this outfit saved. Don't worry. Don't worry. I think I like the cut of these, but I might pick um, a slightly darker color. I don't, never mind. I don't like these jeans anymore. I don't like the belt on those. That's not so bad. Let me, let me see about 
shoe options and we'll see. Oh, we can wear some bowling <laughs> shoes. Oh, wow, that would be great. You think even darker jeans? We can wear darker jeans. I don't know. I just need to hang on one step at a time. Are the yellow sneakers cute or are they ugly? I can't tell. Like, I actually can't tell. They're cute? Okay. We'll try it. Very casual. Maybe we can wear, like, some really... I don't know. I don't know if I want to wear pointy nails, or if... I don't even know if they want to wear any nails at all. Maybe no nail polish. Maybe they don't paint their nails. Not every Sim has to paint their nails, Simsy. <laughs> So I do this all the time when we get a new option. I'm like everyone wear nail polish <laughs> Literally all the time, but I feel like I I don't know maybe not everyone has to paint their nails Maybe we need to be more realistic me like no nail polish No nail polish um I don't think that they wear any makeup yet either that could be one of those things that we can do more when they get a little bit older you know, I'm kind of trying to think of ways that we can make it seem like they're actually like growing up <laughs> as they get older. Um, because otherwise, I think this will be my first everyday outfit. Maybe I'll wear this one as a second everyday outfit. But otherwise, like the teens don't really have much to distinguish them from adults, so. Um, yes, tattoo. Okay, my Sim's only a teen, Ray. I, I picture them being like 14 at this moment. So I think we're not gonna do that. <laughs> Not, not yet at least, okay. I know you mean well, but um, I think we probably won't get a tattoo just yet. But, I don't know, I don't know about shoes. Yeah, my sim uses they, them pronouns, by the way, chat. I know my mods keep correcting in chat too, but just so you know, my sim uses they, them pronouns. Um, Dan screamed, yes. <laughs> I'd like to think that's in reference to my Sim using they, them pronouns. I know he didn't hear what I said. He's just playing Dead by Daylight, but <laughs> I'm going to take that timing and say it's because of my Sim. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know. What kind of shoes? I really don't know. I don't know. The latest kit sneakers? There's sneakers in the newest kit? Oh! Oh, these are pretty good! Okay. What color? Are the leggings bad? I don't know. I'm kind of trying to match the shirt a little. You like the leggings? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We like the leggings, we like the leggings. That's fine. Bracelets? Maybe we could wear like Something simple. This one could be good. That could help match the shirt a little bit more too. You know? Okay. I think it's the black leggings that are kind of throwing me off, but I don't like the brown ones. So, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe the black is fine. Well, the problem is that we can't put actual leggings, like, like the leggings from university or anything, because this top is a dress. So if we put, like, pants, it takes the top off. There's accessory leggings from university, you're pretty sure? Oh, really? Oh. Is that better? I 
You like that a lot? I think I kind of like it too. I think it's kind of cute. Okay. I think I like that. All right, formal, 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 formal. Maybe we could try a different hairstyle for formal. Um, and then hair down maybe? I don't know, we could do, I just, the, the space buns are purely because this sim is, is a space nerd. <laughs> Like, like, we didn't really go very far to make this decision, like, the sim is just a space nerd, and so we were like, haha, space buns, like, <laughs> that was the whole thing of it, was just that they like space, <laughs> so, um, I don't know, it's not like I'm that attached to the space buns or anything, I just thought it was funny, so, um, you know what, the galaxy legging, I might do athletic first, the galaxy leggings for athletic is actually so funny, I love that. Space nerd. Space nerd. I think that's perfect. <laughs> I think that is absolutely perfect. Maybe we could wear like... I don't know. I don't think I like those shoes. Shorts over the leggings? We could do that. We could do something like that. Oops, shorts. I feel like I'm not really sure what shorts I would want to use for this. I wish that there was more with like this cut. Someone just put like four sad face emojis. <laughs> I don't think they like the space leggings. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just, um, I'm, I'm sensing that I don't think they like the space leggings. <laughs> um, I don't know, I feel like they need to be... These come in yellow. Sally, they aren't yellow? Yeah, I know. It's a shame that they aren't yellow, but I think it's okay. There's, there's worse things that we could be doing than having non-yellow pants, <laughs> so. I feel like the shorts over the leggings is chaotic, but so is space. Okay. Okay. This is not yellow. I mean, we could always do the gray version of the leggings instead. And that's just so much easier. But is it fun? Is it as fun? Hard to say. Maybe I won't do that. Hang on, chat. I don't know about the pants, over the shorts over the leggings. I think that's, it's the swatches that are hard for me to match. <laughs> the yellow heart top has a Oh, this is, oh, but the leggings aren't high-waisted enough. I don't like that. Plus you can see their underwear a little bit, like underneath the leggings, so it's better to have it be longer. I think this is okay. I think this is okay. I'm gonna keep this, I think. Um, I keep going back to the, um, shoes from the kit but that'll do that'll do you can try light blue jeans on top of the leggings what to cover them or or what i mean this is athletic wear so i probably wouldn't wear jeans to work out so i don't think i'll make my sim do that either um okay formal distracted distracted is there a good top that is yellow. No. This is deeply upsetting. Let me look at the wedding pack. Let me look at the wedding pack. Um, is it full body, the outfit? 
Don't filter by cottage living. Lemon dress? Maybe. I don't think I want to wear a dress. I'm trying to think about like... Does this... No, there's... Of course there's no yellow. Is there like some good yellow pants that we could tie in with a black shirt or something? No. Okay, is there a good yellow top that I could tie in with some black pants? Um... Pause. This is doable. I don't get what part of the outfit has to be yellow and what not. What do you mean, Lisa? <laughs> There's no, like, rule about what has to be yellow and what doesn't. We're just trying to have the th most of the outfit theme be yellow. If we have to wear some black pants, that's okay. <laughs> we just want, like, generally the outfit to be, like, you know. We're, we're going for a yellow theme. Across most of the clothing. Um. And I don't like this. So... It's not that deep. There isn't, like, a reason or anything. We're just, um... That kind of works. That actually, I think, matches really well. Now, what on earth kind of shoes should I wear? I really struggle with shoes. This is not... I don't know what kind of shoes people wear. Like... I don't know what kind of shoes people wear. I like bowling shoes. We can't put bowling shoes. <laughs> Flats? I don't know. I like... Um... Um... Also Twitch, PG! A PJ, sorry, Aubrey, Sheldon, May, Gamer, Abs, Frozen, Aaron, Purple, Drop, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um. I'm just, I'm just experimenting. Are these cute? Help. Not with socks, that's ugly. Yeah, that's kind of what I was wanting to do too, Lexi, was loafers, but I don't know how to style them. You know? No. No in all caps. Alright, I'm gonna keep them. <laughs> Thank you, we'll be keeping. <laughs> okay, um... I like the yellow slippers. That's good stuff. Um, I'd like a t-shirt. I think I might wear this one. Maybe we could do some, like, gray leggings. I'd wear this to bed. You know? This feels right. Party wear. Um... I want to wear jeans, I think. Um, 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 um... Let me pick a top first, and then I'll find the pants to match. Colors, yellow. Um, hey, Lily, by the way, Jones, Maya, Twitch, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, Tara, I'm not going to have my sim wear a dress. I don't think they ever want to wear dresses, and that's okay. Um, I think... Oh, if I did this, this kind of thing is kind of cute. Maybe like, I think I want to wear this. I just don't know how to style it with pants. That's part of my problem. Cause I'm never, I'm not good at clothes. I'm not good at clothes. Um. <laughs> okay, I think get famous plasticky tight pants black jeans. I was thinking black jeans, but I don't know which ones are. I always like these nifty knitting ones. I think they're a good. Oh. 
Do any of these have a swatch that could be cute? Or no? Probably not. Okay, never mind. Sorry. Um, is this fine? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not good at this. I'm not good at this. The holiday stuff jeans. I feel like I always use the holiday stuff jeans. That's like my go-to. My absolute go-to is always the holiday stuff jeans. So I'm kind of trying to not do that. Um, I think maybe some little sneakers. The bowling shoes. <laughs> Sorry, that's amusing. These are the ones from university that we use for their everyday outfit, so those might be okay. We'll get the glasses back. We'll get the glasses back. That will be all right. Okay. Honey became a teen, like, I very recently. <laughs> we haven't played a single day with Honey as a teen. Um, I think that um, we, we've just been in cast for like 20 minutes or so trying to figure out an outfit. Um, can I wear? This might be a good chance for some of the like shorts from, um... oh, are there not shorts from? Maybe they're just not in the swimwear category. I'm like, are there not yellow shorts from the throwback fit kit? Cause I was hoping for something like that. There are. See, this could be kind of cute. And then if there's like maybe a... Dan is singing again. Maybe the white. I think that's good. Let's wear like flip flops or something. I know that you don't have to wear shoes when you're swimming in The Sims, but I'm just trying to like update it. <laughs> Make it look a little bit more interesting, you know? Um, okay. S glasses, glasses, glasses. Where did they go? I really like these glasses. These are like some of my favorite glasses in the game, I think. Um, Locks, I don't think that this sim will still be a teen when we get to high school years. I think that the high school pack is probably going to come out too late. I mean, they might still be like they might still be a teen, but we won't have the high school pack for like the entirety of this sim being a teen. So I don't know if we'll get a chance to play too much with the high school years pack with this one, unfortunately. Um, Cause it's still gonna not come out for a couple of weeks. So, okay. I'm really not into most of the, it's like a lot of the yellow swatches of these pants are like not good. <laughs> You know, like, a lot of the yellow is just not a good color yellow, so. Um, yeah, their kid can use the high school pack. We've been talking about that a lot earlier today in stream. You're talking about, like, how their kid will probably use the high school pack a bunch. Dan was singing Kate Bush. Yeah, Mixie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you've heard that, right? <laughs> um, Annie, cute Sam, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, okay. Um... Um, uh, I don't like many of these things. I'm not feeling very drawn to any of them. Maybe I'll take off the hot weather filter. Oh, maybe they could wear the um holiday pack jeans for this, for the hot weather outfit. That might be all right. I kind of forget that shirt exists. <laughs> maybe we can find a use for that later on in their life. <laughs> Um, can I sing Kate Bush? No. <laughs> no. To answer your question, no, I cannot sing, nor will I ever sing for you on stream. That will simply not be happening. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Literally never. Okay, how does this look tucked into the, um, holiday pack pants? Let's find out. Oops. I don't think that's, I think that's all right. I think that's cute. Okay. Okay. Sneakers. Yes. Yes. You think this top must be so soft? You know, I bet it is. 
I wouldn't be surprised if this shirt was very soft in real life. <laughs> I haven't really given much thought to um, the uh, softness of my Sims clothes, but it is kind of a funny thought, isn't it? <laughs> Won't they die from heat? Arthur, it's, um, it's, it's a hot weather outfit, so as long as they're wearing a hot weather outfit, they don't overheat. Um, I could put my sim in a winter coat and set it as their hot weather outfit, and they, they wouldn't overheat. Um, it's just, like, the outfit category. The game isn't smart enough to know, like, oh, that's long sleeves and not short sleeves, um, you know? <laughs> so, uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. That part's fine. Um, okay. Let's think about this. Do we have any good coat options that are yellow? The game has been letting me down with most of these things, so... Let's find out. Let's find out. That would be so chaotic, though. Yeah, it would be. It would be very chaotic if the game was smart enough to know that. <laughs> but I'm actually going to consider ourselves lucky that it isn't. I kind of like this. I think this one's cool. I've never used this swatch before. I think it's quite cool. I like how it adds in a little bit of purple, too. It's just kind of fun. Um, the question is, what jeans am I looking for? <laughs> what jeans do I want to use? I don't know. Um, probably not those. We've been using the Nifty Knitting ones a bunch, and if I put some boots on, it should be fine. Yeah, yeah, and then we can get, um, maybe not yellow <laughs> boots. <laughs> they don't have to be yellow, that's okay. Um, that's okay. What jacket is that? This one is from, um, this one is from Snowy Escape. Oh, I need, like, bigger boots. Is that too much or is it good? I don't know. I really don't know. I think it's kind of cute, but I really can't tell. Maybe, is that color better? Is that color better? I think this is okay. Both are nice. You like the yellow? Yellow boots? Okay, let's go to the yellow boots then. That's fine. Okay, outfit-wise, we've got this look going on. I think that you turned out pretty cute. Okay. Let's go redo their bedroom. I can tell you live in a hot place. Rubber boots will make her their feet go blue in snow. Okay, Jade, it's The Sims. <laughs> Um, their feet aren't gonna do anything in the snow, because there's not deep snow, and it's the Sims, so they don't get cold. I'm not that worried about realism. Um, it's fine. Sometimes I have my Sims just wear a hoodie in the cold weather. You gotta do what you gotta do. And also, the base game has, like, no coats and barely any boots, so if you're making the base game Sim, well, I guess their feet are gonna freeze. I don't know. Um, but it's okay. It's the Sims. <laughs> It's okay. <laughs> um, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, and in snow you can have wool liners and socks and stuff. See? Um, see? See? Easy. Um, yeah, because it's The Sims, you could, you could wear, like, nothing as your cold weather outfit and you still wouldn't freeze. <laughs> um, Okay, so let's get rid of some of the toys and stuff that we have in our bedroom. We always talked about getting, um, a desk when they got a little bit older. So we can do that now. Um, I think that's cool. I think that is cool. Okay, um... Which one do I want to use? It's the next question. Maybe just this one. Little skinny desk. 
We have a lot of funny space things in here. See? <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't have seasons, you still have hot and cold weather categories. Um, they added that to the base game. Um, so everybody has the hot and cold weather categories, even if you don't have seasons. So, um, hence why we have a real big issue with, um, Sims from the base game, like the original Sims. They don't have real hot and cold weather outfits set, because they came out before we had hot and cold weather outfits in the game. So, very annoyingly, um, they just, um don't have proper outfits. So you'll see like Nancy Landgrab rolling up with the, um, I don't know, eyeball ring and a really weird hot weather outfit. <laughs> They're a teenager now when you left, they were a child. Well, well, we literally just aged them up. Like, like I haven't unpaused the game since aging them up. All I've done is um, give them an outfit and cast. <laughs> okay, I think I wanna have them finish this. Um, I like the idea of putting up this school project in the house, the solar system one, and like putting it in their bedroom. So I think I'm gonna make them finish the project so I can decorate their room with it. Sorry to like take a second, but I think I'm gonna make them use it in their room. <laughs> so, um, save game. I just did a second ago, Haley, don't worry, but thank you for the, um, for the heads up. But I think this will be kind of cool in their room. I like that concept, so. Because they do already have like one of the robots that you can create with these school projects. So I think it'll be fun to get like another thing on the desk or something. Dan is giving Love Island spoilers currently. Well, is he just talking about like current up to date Love Island? I guess it's spoilers if you haven't seen yesterday or if you're watching from America, so you're watching less. But um, Dan is a like proper Love Island stand now. Dan complained so much leading up to me wanting to watch Love Island again this season. And now Dan is obsessed. <laughs> he, he like, he talks about it so much. He gets like giddy about it like I do. <laughs> it, it really is great fun for me. Um, okay, let's swap these things over. I'll put that here and I'll put this on the desk or on the, um, on the dresser. But anyway, Dan is like fully converted these days. Um, one of us, one of us. <laughs> um, so you're welcome chat, I've saved him. But that's cool, right? And then we can do like this thing over here. I'll get a lamp. We could probably just do like, I might get the blue one actually. Little blue lamp. We're watching it up to date with a VPN, Pink Fish. Um, we're using a VPN so that we can watch it. Um, can I watch it on stream? No. <laughs> definitely not. It would be cool if we could, but definitely not, because we would get copyright strikes from that, um, unfortunately. But again, that would be cool if that was possible, but alas, I'm not trying to get my Twitch channel deleted for um, copyright, so. <laughs> Uh, we can't do that. Okay. That's kind of cute. Very studious, if you will. Oh, wait. Let me, s hang on. Scoot that closer. Scoot that over. Put that there. Okay. There we go. Yes. Yes. I don't, that's too much yellow. I think I want to try and tie in some more blue. Move the bin? Why? It's nice to have it next to the desk, right? Um, I thought it would be good there at least. Okay, I was thinking about putting, um, maybe, I don't know if these have any good swatches, but I was thinking about putting a couple of these in here. Oh no, swatch is bad. Swatch is bad. Simsy, Casa, more build when? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Um, 
Casa Amor causes me, like, actual stress. Basically, okay, if you've never seen Love Island, this is gonna be the most absurd thing you've ever heard. You're gonna love this. So, basically, in Love Island, the, the whole thing is about, like, couples. Like, they come in, they pick who they think is hottest, and they all couple up, and they, like, you know, send in new people, and they choose to recouple, and, you know, it kind of goes on. And the whole point is they're supposed to, like, you know, be together, and then the winners at the end voted get to win money. Well, at one point in Love Island, um, they send, like, one of the groups away, like, either the boys or the girls away, to a house away, and then they have, like, a bunch of new boys come into that house where they are, and then a bunch of new girls came into the main house where the boys all stayed, and then they all, like, mingle with the new people, um, <laughs> And the whole thing is, like, they're away from each other, and they can't talk to the other person, um, like, the original people, because they're, like, separated. And then, you know, it's like, ooh, are they gonna cheat? Are they, like, are their heads gonna turn? Are they gonna date somebody else? And then at the end, they have a chance to, like, choose to recouple or stay with this, the original person, and it's so dramatic. Like, so in the episode that they did it this time, the boys were in the main villa still, and the girls had left. So the boys were, like, standing around the fire pit, and they got to pick if they wanted to pick one of the new girls or stay with their old girl. And then after they pick, the old girl comes back in, and she either has come back alone or with one of the new boys. And everyone's, like, so mean. In, in this episode, um, no spoilers, by the way, but I will say, in one of them, both people in the couple recoupled. Like, the guy picked a new girl, the girl picked a new boy, and then they were, like, mad at each other. But, like, you both did that? Like, you both, like, so why? I'm struggling to see, like, what the problem is. Um, but it's, it's all very, very stupid. Very dramatic. Very straight. Very ridiculous. Honestly, one of the worst shows ever made. But it's so much fun. Like, it's so much fun. <laughs> um, I absolutely love it. I love it. Um, but anyway, they're being, they're all so, like, petty and weird. It's just, it's, it's such an exciting show. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoy trash TV, you'll very much like Love Island. Um, and I enjoy trash TV, so I really like Love Island. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put this over here by the, no, I think I want to have a chair. I don't know. Maybe I'll give you a plant. You can have a plant. Seems exciting. Good for you. Anyway, it's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Straight people are so dramatic. I know. <laughs> um, it's terrible. It's a, it's a terrible show. I, I cannot recommend that you watch it. However, if you like bad TV, you should watch it. Yesterday night, I think Momo was streaming, and I think Momo was watching... Um, Twilight on stream and I assume that uh after the movie must have come up because all of a sudden while Momo is live I get added in our discord server and they're like what is what is after <laughs> and so then I was like explaining this the, the plot of what I dare I say is the worst movie of all time to Momo and Emrys and they were both like now hang on <laughs> we need to watch this <laughs> You said asked him to be, didn't think they do it right then? Oh, they did it right then. They, like, asked me in the Discord right then. <laughs> but they've never seen it, um, and now they're gonna watch it, so very exciting. Um, much enjoy watching a terrible film with friends. It's so fun. So, <laughs> love that you were the reference person. I know, me being the reference person for the bad film. Yeah, great. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought you were on the floor. Legitimately thought she was on the floor just then. Like, out of the corner of my eye, I thought she was sleeping on the floor. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. Um, anyway, it, I feel like being the, uh, the go-to source for bad TV and movies is a good reputation to have. However, I'm not even, like, I don't even watch a lot of bad movies. I watch very few bad movies after is one of them but it's iconic. Also, After is not on watch parties, um, because it, it's on Netflix, I think, not Prime, but I don't know if I could bring myself to watch After on stream with you all, even if I could. That movie 
there's so many sex scenes in it. And I don't know if I can watch those in front of all of you. It makes me uncomfortable. Like, I don't know if I could do that with you together on stream. I'm not sure that I want my reaction live stream to that. I don't know. It just feels weird. Like, I just, I don't think I could do that. <laughs> it feels awkward. Like, I just don't want to. <laughs> we can't anyway, but, um, what is it about? It's, I'm dead serious. A Harry Styles fanfic turned actual book turned into movie. And it is awful, awful. Truly one of the worst ones I've ever seen. The plot of the entire first one is that Harry Styles, whose character is named Harden, gets like dared to try and convince the main girl to fall in love with him. And then he's like, oh, I could do it. And then he like, tr like tricks her into dating him, but then he like actually likes her. And that's the whole plot of the first film. It's like so toxic. It's so toxic and weird. Like the guy who plays Harden is played by Voldemort's nephew. Like, the guy who plays Voldemort in Harry Potter, his nephew plays Harden on after- yeah, Harden instead of Harry, by the way. Um, and this guy is British, but he puts on a fake British accent to sound more like Harry Styles. He's got Harry Styles tattoos. Like, it's so weird. It's so weird. <laughs> Um, it's really bizarre. Like, the whole thing is so weird. You really, you should watch it. Also, Dylan Sprouse is in the second film. Um, and then in the third and fourth movies, they haven't, the, the fourth one's not out yet. But in the third and fourth movies, they recast everybody except the main two people. So, like, in the third film, like, her mom, his family, their friends are all different. <laughs> because they recast everybody except the main two people. And so everything's just different in the third film. And the movies, okay, okay, you're not gonna believe this. The first one's called After. Um, the next two, I forget the order, are After We Collided and After We Fell. And I kid you not, you cannot make this up, the fourth one is called After Ever Happy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is that so funny to me? After Ever Happy? Come on! Come on! Anyway, it's so funny. It's so funny. So, um, truly some of the worst films I've ever seen in my entire life, and I really think that you would enjoy them. So, um... <laughs> and again, Dylan Sprouse is in the second film, so... Um, if you're interested, you should watch him. <sighs> okay, anyway. Anyway, anyway, anyway. My Sam is getting ready for bed. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Got a bit distracted talking about after, but... <laughs> okay, I think I also want to get, um, some of these, because I need to get the air pressure one so I can gain the rocket science skill. I'll probably work on that for a little bit tonight, and then I'll have them just go to bed and get ready for school. Tiny telescope for honey. We have a telescope. It's down here. We can't put it on this balcony because the game counts it as being inside because there's like a roof above it. So, um, but anyway, after is a terrible film. You really should watch it. <laughs> Oh, and the other thing is, in the Discord, this is, like, in the server that we used to play Among Us. So it's, like, everybody that we played Among Us with is in this Discord server. We're all, like, freaking out, talking about how good we think After is, and, like, how Momo and Emrys need to watch it. And then, like, an hour later, <laughs> um, I, it was obvious that, like, Spring Sims was, like, catching up on the, on the, like, conversation. And he watches the trailer, and he's like, this is horrible! I can't believe you made me watch that! <laughs> So he comes in, and he's like, what is wrong with you people? <laughs> um, it was really great fun. I really enjoyed it, so. <laughs> he's not wrong. Um, but it, it was great fun. You were trying to figure out what was going on in the convo? Yeah, I bet Claire, <laughs> that's the thing. 
<laughs> you like open up the Discord server to like 500 missed messages, and it's all just us talking about after, and you're probably like, what? What is this? Like, what? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? Anyway, um, sorry. But, um, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> that Discord server can be Pandora's box. It really is something else. I won't lie. Um, it really is something else. We get up to, um, some fun things. Talking about long bingus. Okay, that's valid, though. That conversation was important, Claire. It was really important. You can't just pass up an opportunity to talk about long bingus. I like, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it was extremely important. Can I show you? Wait, let me scroll back a little bit. Um, okay, let me take a screenshot and I'll send it to you. Um, send it to you, I'll pull it up. This is um, long bingus, all right? This is a sticker from my friend Momo's Discord server. Um, and the reason that I, I bring this up is because so often, literally so often, it's like one of the first options for stickers in my, in my discord. When I press stickers, Momo's at, right at the top and Long Bingus is right there. So I send it by accident on mobile all the time. Like, I don't know how I do this. I like, my finger slips, I'm not even trying to send a sticker, and all of a sudden this thing shows up. Because as soon as you click it, it sends, there's no like, click then send. And so I send this thing, literally all the time, by accident. All the time. This thing is cursed. I swear to you, I'll just be typing on my phone, and then all of a sudden it'll appear, and I don't remember sending it. And, because I like, typed it by accident. But like, this thing is shocking. <laughs> You're like in the middle of a random conversation and then bingus appears. Um, but this is a, this is a, it's a meme from Momo's stream. Don't even worry about it. But anyway, we were talking about this earlier in the Discord. And I assume if you hadn't seen this before, it might be alarming to you. That's what Clara's talking about. <laughs> but anyway, I send it by accident all the time. Does anybody else send stickers on Discord by accident or is that a me problem? Because I send stickers, like, not stickers, literally that sticker because that one is the top. That is the top sticker in my Discord list, and I send it by accident all the time. No, you don't do that? You don't have stickers? Oh, sorry. Is that a Nitro thing? Is that a... <laughs> is that a Nitro thing? <laughs> Alright, for the record, I don't have to pay for Nitro because I'm Lil Simsy and I'm a Discord partner. So, anyway, it's a nitro thing. So maybe you don't have that problem. I have that problem. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay, flex. Yeah, sorry. It's not a nitro thing? Oh, well. Oh, if you want to use stickers from other servers, it's a nitro thing. Okay, well, that's why I have that problem. I don't send the long bingus only in Momo's server. I send long bingus often into my own DMs with people. <laughs> But anyway, um, long story short, that thing torments me, so. <laughs> Amy, Daisy, Carly, Jay, Mitchie, Just, Ali, Zoe, thank you for the subs. It's been so long, she not know the difference. Okay, in my defense, I've had Discord partners since before stickers existed. So I've never had stickers as a not Discord partner. So I don't know how they work if you're not, if you don't have Nitro. <laughs> they didn't exist when I didn't have Nitro. <laughs> Now I'm a Discord partner, so I get given it for free. So. Um, that's still a flex? Yeah, well. Did I get to go meet Rick? That's tomorrow, Claff. That's tomorrow. How could you bring it up? I feel sick just thinking about it now. <laughs> I'm terrified. Uh-oh. My sim is mortified. That's less than ideal. Um, okay. Anyway, um, tomorrow Rick Ashley is gonna be on tour in Orlando, and I'm meant to go meet him before the concert. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You didn't know Harrison Sullivan. I'm deleting that. I'm sorry, that's not my problem. Do you canoe? 
haha, you just got pranked. Anyway, that's tomorrow. Um, my mom is coming, yes, and so is Dan. Thank God, because I can't drive there. I mean, I can, but I almost, can I tell you something embarrassing? When we went to the Justin Bieber concert, it was me, my mom, my dad, and my sister. The four of us went to see Justin Bieber a few months ago. And I had a panic attack in the parking garage and I wasn't even the one driving. So I'm not driving to the Amway Center. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, that's just not happening. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, I just can't. So my mom is coming and she's driving. So. Um, but anyway, happens to the best of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. My face is a mess. I can't go anywhere looking like this. What can I do? You're not hideous. It's fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. Oh, I feel, you were crying to your mom about- Oh! I feel bad. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. Her name- or their name is Honey, by the way. I didn't just call them Honey, like, like, to be passive-aggressive or condescending. Their name is literally Honey. <laughs> I wasn't trying to be like, oh, Honey. <laughs> That's their name, I promise. Yeah, they're mortified. Uh, it's an unfortunate situation that we are in right now, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Um, so, everything's fine. Everything's fine. I'm gonna replace this. I might actually have you do some cooking, honestly. Do you want to cook up some grilled cheese? This would be good for you. What caused them to be mortified? It's just from school. Having a mood swing. Stop looking at me. One of those moments. Um, this light show object? Oh my god, this is like the most frequently asked question in my entire stream. I'm dead serious. This is the Let There Be Light laser show. It's from the deluxe version of the game. My sim got it from Santa like six generations ago and I've had it in my house ever since. Um, so, <laughs> that's what that is. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I don't mean like to yell at you for asking number one. I'm just kind of joking about how often people are like, what is that? It's like the most, like people are obsessed with it. Everyone asks so often. Um, it's kind of cute. So, gonna have dinner for working. Okay, fair enough, Hope. That'll be nice. Hang out, have some dinner. What are you gonna make? What are you gonna have? What's the plan? Can you still get that though? Yeah, with the deluxe version of the game, yeah. Um, if you have the deluxe version or if you buy the deluxe upgrade, I'm not saying it's worth it to buy the deluxe upgrade. I'm saying that I have the deluxe upgrade and it comes with that thing. So. <laughs> um, not, you know, do with that information what you will. Are you done? Are we all done cooking and eating and stuff? Yes. Once you're done eating, you can work on this some more. That'll be good. Oh, something's in my eye. Help. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm fine. Did the deluxe upgrade for free a while ago? Oh, really? Wonder if they'll do it again soon. They should. Makes more sense when the game's first coming out, but at this point, like, it's 2022. Come on. Like, come on. Yeah, the deluxe version comes with that burger cake too, doesn't it? Can console gamers get it? I think so. I don't have a console, so I've never tried. I've never tested that, but I would assume. I would be really surprised if they couldn't. How do you get the maid? You can hire a service on your phone, Phil Sphere, in-game. Eating some tofu pad thai. Oh, I'm jealous. I'm hungry. Unfair. Unfair. You have the burger cake? Oh, maybe it's not the deluxe version that's the burger cake. What is it? Um... There was something else that the- I don't remember the difference. It doesn't even mark it in game, so I don't remember. I'm sorry. I can't help you. I don't know, and I can't check. <laughs> I don't know and I can't check. Honey has finished their school project quickly. Yes! I'm gonna sell it. That's extra credit for us as well. Oops. Go into my inventory. We don't need that children's one either. Um. 
it comes to the downloadable soundtrack that will also not be available soon because EA is phasing out extra content. Really? Why are they phasing out? I find that weird. It's 2 a.m.? Oh my god! I didn't realize how late it was! <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, everyone. That's my bad. I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know. Whoopsies. Oops. Okay, I'm scared of a ghost. That's fair enough. Aren't we all? Aren't we all? Doesn't the high school pack come with a pre-order bonus? I- that's different than the extra content they mean. We're talking about, like, something that you download separately, like the, the soundtrack. Um, and yeah, I think that Little Dika is right in assuming that it's because of the new EA desktop app, but I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Can I check neighborhood stories? Oh my god, I haven't checked it in days. I haven't- I don't think I checked it- checked it in the last, like, many streams. Baby born. Don't care. I'm just gonna keep checking until somebody dies. Maybe I'll just open up loads of them and then click through them all. Okay, baby. Toddler. Baby. Freelance. Career. Colt McCloud has died. Slipped when rock climbing. Cat. Baby. Douglas Ott has died. Fell for a cow plant. Ooh. That's unfortunate. Oh my god, it's been a long time since I checked this. Like, again, it's been like multiple streams. Oh no. Retired. Cat. Toddler. Dog. Uh-oh. Tried to make cereal, but it burst into flames. Tried fixing the toilet, and it burst into flames. Oh, more embarrassing than any sim can handle. That's a lot of sims that died. Oof. Yikes. And it's Winterfest. Oh. Okay. We can celebrate. That could be kind of fun. Shall I get a tree? Shall I get a tree? Yeah, I know I can drop down the alerts, friend, but I like to do it like that, because then I can, like, close out of one that I've already read. I don't know. It's just easier for me. You know? Um, okay. I buy a Christmas tree for Winterfest. That's fine. Um, I put this in my inventory last time when I was wanting space for my presents. So I might do that again. Perfect. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Um, hey, by the way, Stony and Jay and Ellie and Enda and Lol and Amy, thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, do you want us to serve up a grand breakfast? Let's do one for breakfast together. That could be kind of cute. Oh, you're already eating. Stop. Go shower instead. Okay. Okay. I'm probably gonna get rid of this. Thank you. Thank you. Now we just wait. Don't eat anything yet. Stop. 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 You can add a present to this, but you cannot get any food out yet. Add more. Downstairs and upstairs is nothing, Margie. This is supposed to be an apartment building. Um, so we're saying we live on the second floor of the apartment building. There's like a lobby downstairs, our apartment second floor, and then upstairs is empty. Because we're pretending to live in an apartment building, but like custom built instead of one of EA's apartments. Um, that's kind of the idea at least. The last time I saved? Like two seconds ago, it's okay. I can do it again if you insist, but don't worry. It's all right. It's all right. Oh, Manchella, that's actually good to know because we can take note of that and then we can try and report it so we can get it changed. Um, if you ever, that's the thing. There's, um, if one of my mods could grab that link again, by the way, um, 
So when the Sims team made the pronoun update, they had to manually update all of the text strings in the entire game. And sometimes there's like um, some like grammar errors and sometimes there's things that are like messed up. So um, if you if you see that kind of thing, if you could report that, my mods will grab the forum post if they could find it. I know it's in the my pinned comments from the video I posted on it. Um, mods, but also if you're looking for it in the future, there's like a forum post that you can post the um, things that you find that are messed up. Um, but that would be super useful. That's the thing, like there's so many text strings. Um, so it's obviously helpful if you find anything wrong so that they can update it. It's not on purpose, it's just human error. And there's so many that, I mean, there's things that are bound to be messed up, so. Um, but yeah, that I believe is the right spot that Hope just linked in the chat. Yes, 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 yes. Very cool. Um, but yeah, if you see those, report them so that they can um, fix it. Because they, they wouldn't know otherwise if people don't tell them, so. Um, okay, are we all gonna grab this meal? Do you want to grab a serving? Yes? Um, yeah, Sweet Spy, that's the bigger issue, I think. It's not the pronouns being wrong, but, like, the grammar around it being wrong. And that's, again, that's because it had to be manually adjusted by humans. Um, so if, like, sometimes, um, I, I saw one of them the other day on stream. Um, with like some messed up grammar. If you see that kind of thing, again, human error, just take a screenshot and then um, you can try and report it in there. That would be great. Um, so, okay. Anyway, same thing. I mean, if you encounter any major bugs, don't report them on the pronouns thread. <laughs> um, don't report on, on, like, don't, you know, keep that for the pronoun text string issues. But if you encounter bugs, you can report them on the forums and stuff so that they know. Um, if that's the thing that you want to get into helping um, with. Okay, anyway, we're eating. It's kind of cute. Let's see if we, did you both finish the grand meal? Oh, you don't care about the grand meal. Okay, well, let's open presents together then. Come on. Come on. Okay, well, they're not both doing it. That's annoying. What'd you get? Lucky man folded laundry, okay. <laughs> okay, that seems um, fine. This is kind of cute. You can see the tree in the background. What is it? Barely better digital camera, they will treasure it. That's a good one. It's not a very good thing, but it's a, not a bad item to get. Let's take some selfies. <laughs> Lolita, Melanie, introverted, 23, hot dog. Thank you for the subs and stuff. Um, so is it cheating the rules? Is what cheating the rules? What did I do that seems like cheating? I'm confused. I am confused. Um, okay, do you want to, oh, do you know what we could do actually? Let's go hang out as a family with Eugene. Look at their chat history. Uh, okay. Oh, they had asked a first question. Um, no, I don't care if you want to live with your part with your Sims partner in this game. Look, friend, if I could offer you any piece of advice when it comes to um, this game and challenges in this game. Play how you want. Play with the f with with what's fun for you. If it brings you joy, do it. If you want to fudge the rules a little bit, that's fine too. Like for example, in the red gen, their question was, "If I live with my partner, is that cheating?" No, do whatever you want. Um, but if like for example, it says that you're supposed to get married as an elder, maybe you don't want to do that. You want to get married as an adult, or you don't want to get married at all. Whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like it's not that deep. <laughs> like. Um, there isn't like a score or anything, you know? Like just play what's fun for you. There's no such thing as cheating as far as I'm concerned. Just do what you think is fun. Um, I, if, if it's more fun for you to do it in a certain way, then do it that way and make it more fun. You having fun with the game is the most important part of this, so. That is the goal. Um, yeah, exactly, it's an inspiration, right? Like the, the challenge is just supposed to give you like some guidelines to follow to give you a new way to play, but it's not like, you're gonna get in trouble if you mess with them, you know? <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm not gonna sit here and yell at you because you didn't follow the Gen 3 exactly right. Like, even I don't, you know, so. Whatever. <laughs> whatever, do whatever is fun for you, you know? Um, anyway, that is the goal. Okay, um, I can give you a Winterfest gift. How about this photo of us as children? He better like that. It would be rude if he didn't. He did. Okay. Romance? Has to be boyfriend. I don't think he's ready for that yet. I don't think he's ready for that after I, um, you know, left him at the altar and whatnot. So. <laughs> yeah, if you broke the NSB rules, the not so berry rules, I'll be showing up at your house to yell at you. Obviously. Because I care that much. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, obviously not. Do whatever is fun for you. That's the whole point. This is gonna be our future husband, yeah, Lisa. This is also the sin that she left at the altar years ago. And it's her child's father. So. Alright, the romance bar is, like, completely full. I think we're back in love again. Dare I kiss him? This is a big moment for us! <gasps> After all these years! See, I've waited for them to go on like three dates before kissing again. And he's taking out dirty plates and going to wash them. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't as romantic as I was hoping it would be, but that's fine. <laughs> it's just classic Sims. Classic Sims. She only became an adult today. Or like, yet. Yeah, oh that's wrong Sim. Or like yesterday or something in game. So uh, she isn't going to be an elder just yet. We don't. We won't be getting married to him for a while. We'll probably have them start dating and get engaged a lot sooner than that, though, and just not actually get married until she's an elder. No. Oh my god! This game keeps giving me offensive job offers. I am level ten of the politician career. I am not accepting a level five job offer. What is wrong with you? Oh my goodness. Okay, where did Eugene go? Eugene! Ah, okay. Well, now that I've solved this problem, I'm going to give you a Winterfest gift. I have this rubber duck. Eugene died? No? Eugene's right here. <laughs> Eugene's here! Show off selfie. Share secret. Belly laugh. I want to get to know him a little bit better. This is her father. Or their father, sorry. Um, so we need to get to know him a little bit more. Because it has been a Grades are up. Tell me how I got my grades up when I didn't go to school today. See, there's an example, by the way, of the messed up text. Honey has been working hard and they is now a high school A student. Obviously, I meant to say they are now a high school A student, but that's a human error. Like, not didn't update the text string properly. I assume that one has probably been reported, but I will save screenshots so that I can report it later, too. Um, but anyway, sometimes there's, like, some weird grammar issues, but again, human error, so. Um... Did we finish a project? Oh, I guess we did finish a project last night, so that makes sense. Yeah, okay. My close friend Reuben Barnes has passed away- Oh my god! <laughs> they were kissing! Already? It seems we might be ready to get back together. <laughs> That's so cute! I might invite Eugene home with me to come spend the rest of Winterfest with the family. I think that would be really nice. I don't know. I just like the idea. So. <laughs> Why two refrigerators? I didn't build that, Mr. Alex. That's just the park that comes with San Mice, you know, city living. It just is that way. So. It just is that way. Eugene is Honey's dad, yeah. Okay. Indeed. That's kind of why it's so important that 
um, Eugene and, and Tomato are sort of back together now because they haven't been together for a while. Um, since Honey dumped him and left him at, or since, not Honey, since um, Tomato dumped him and left him at the altar. <laughs> <laughs> so we've only gotten back together very recently, and they aren't even officially dating yet. They're, we're trying to take it slow. They only kissed for the first time again today at the park. So. <laughs> what do I think about the Monster High live action? You know, I won't lie to you. I didn't know that was a thing. That's news to me. I learned this today. You're making some waves, tomato. Level four? Sorry, I'm, I'm bored by the bad offer. The bad offer is upsetting to me. Wait, why are you brokenhearted? Did you know the dead sim too? Oh no. Oh no. Is it really Esperzing? I haven't seen Monster High, so I don't know much about it. I've never- I've never seen it. Um, so I don't know much about it. I didn't realize they were making a live action either, because I haven't seen the other one. Um, maybe I'm missing out. Okay, I'm gonna bathe the dog quickly, I think. Okay. Well, I finished bathing the dog. Now I suppose I will, um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll do another school project to try and get some handiness skill. Yes? I think so. That's probably good for me. Yes. Start working carefully. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Honey's new skill and will allow them to salvage parts from piles of junk. Yes, 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 yes. Sure. Thank you. <laughs> Look, it's kind of cute how they're hanging out. We're like sitting here together chatting while I work on my project. I don't really want Tomato to help because I don't want it to go faster. I'd rather build skills, but... Um, just really get going now. Oh, I didn't know if you were even still here. Oh, is Daddy Winter here? I haven't even seen him. <gasps> Daddy Winter! Ask for help. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to come do a friendly introduction. I did not mean to come ask you for help with my project. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to try and make you help me with my project. That's weird. Come on. Oh, you're actually helping. Come on. Friendly introduction. Come on. Come on. Stop! What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Okay, teleport here. If this doesn't work, then I'm going to give up. Funny introduction. Are you leaving again? No, you sat. Okay. Ask for present. Come on, give me a gift. Give me a gift. Give me a gift! Whatever. I don't even want it anymore. I'm going to sleep. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just... I'm out. I'm done. I'm like... <laughs> I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuzzy Pumpkin, just so you know, um, I also find that distressing, but I want to make sure you're clear that I can't control the ads that are playing on my Twitch channel. I have literally no idea what ads play. Um, I wish that that wasn't one of them. Um, but I think that if you see ads that are bad, you can report them on Twitch while they're still running, I think. I don't actually know how it works. Um, but I have no control over, um, the ads that play. Just a general PSA to everybody. I know a lot of you probably know that already, but, um, I can't pick. And if I could, I wouldn't pick the ones that we do get, so. <laughs> I know that you, most of you know that, but, um, just so we're clear. Um, okay, everyone's asleep. I'm trying to get my needs up a little bit. Um, also, Beverage, Beck, Nita, Katie, Curly, thank you for the subs. Did Daddy Winter finish my project? Oh my god, he did. I find that very surprising. 
and frankly, very confusing as well. Why did he do that? <laughs> Who died? I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people because my sim dated a lot of people. So I assume it was just one of my exes. Um, they get upset a lot. Is this stream on YouTube? Yeah, Bitter, just so you know, I don't post these streams on my main channel, like Lil Simsy, but I do post them all on More Simsy, my second channel. So if you're looking for the past not so very stuff, there's a playlist on More Simsy with him. Um, why are all your exes dead? Because a lot of them are old. So. It is telling the 12th gen, yeah, Songbird, but it's gen 2 of not so very. 12th gen total, but gen 2 of not so very. Because we started not so very with, um, Gen 11, basically. We're kind of on Gen 3 of Not So Very at this point, because, like, I've pretty much done everything we can with Tomato. So we're basically on Gen 3. It's just that my, um, Sim is still a teen. Oh, Fuzzy, I know. I didn't, I didn't know you were talking about Facebook ad, but I just was giving, like, I didn't mean to, like, correct you. I just was, like, whenever I see people talking about distressing ads, I'm, like, I probably should clarify that I, t I can't pick it. I know most of you know that, but, like, you just gotta make sure we're clear. <laughs> Because <laughs> some people don't know that I can't pick it, and I can't be associated with that, like, um, so you just need to make it very clear that that's not the case. <laughs> um, anyway, I know that you knew. I just was kind of giving a general PSA, but anyway, I'm glad to hear it was Facebook and not Twitch, <laughs> so. Um, okay, keep sleeping through the night, please. I guess you're fine, so you don't need to, but, um... Do you want to get some leftovers, perhaps? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Chaotic, Cherry, Beverage, thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay, um, shall I go? <laughs> okay, use bathroom, take shower. <laughs> All right, are you done? No, can I take care of the dog? I've not been doing a good job taking care of my dog, I won't lie, and it's scared of toilets. So that's not good. <laughs> hey, angels, thank you for the bits, by the way, and Decade, Rihanna, Chaotic, thank you for those subs. Thank you all so much. Would I ever do a meet and greet? Um, in what context? Because... I've done meet and greets in the past, uh, obviously like at conventions and stuff, um, but I haven't been to a convention in a few years. Um, I will probably have a meet and greet at TwitchCon in San Diego this year, um, but none of that's actually like set up yet or anything, obviously, so I'll let you know if that's actually happening, but, um, but yeah. I probably wouldn't do a meet and greet outside of a convention. I say this with love, but I think at this point in my life, it's no longer safe for me to do that. I hope you understand. <laughs> um, but I, uh oh, lobster's running away. I think that outside of a convention space, um, where it's like more controlled and safer, I, I don't think I would ever do something like that. I did that before a couple times in the past, but. I would never do that again, I don't think. Um, not now, not anymore, so. Um, I think many of you probably understand, <laughs> um, but like, I just, I don't think that's safe anymore, so. <laughs> um, but, alas, that's just the nature of the beast, I suppose. It probably wasn't safe then either, um, but I think now even less so. I mean, for me, but also I think for, like, the group as a whole. Like, I just don't think it's a good idea. So, um, I probably wouldn't do that outside of a convention sort of setting. So, um, I don't know. You just can't trust people, <laughs> right? So, um, we don't want to put anybody in danger, right? But anyway. Anyway. <laughs> Songbird, thank you for the bits, by the way. Um, okay, wait until we get home from school, I suppose. I am mortified again from school. Excellent, excellent. I'm probably going to do some reading because I need to work on my aspiration a little bit. Um, TwitchCon's in October in San Diego, Nessa. Um, oh my god, look who it is. It's Eugene. He came to my house. 
Invite in. This is big. This is big. Is that spoiled or is one of you just stinky? Oh, it's your breath because of the cold air. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was seeing fumes. I was like, is that- are you eating spoiled food or do you just smell? I can't tell. <laughs> just bought your TwitchCon flight? Oh, that's fun, Brew. I'm really glad. That's exciting. Um, I thought it was spoiled too. Yeah, that was my first thought for sure is that she was eating spoiled food. Oh, you brought a gift to your kid? I thought you were bringing it to tomato. Oh, that's even better. It's a faux meat cube. Okay. We could grow a meat wall with that if we wanted. Um, what a lovely gift. I'm so glad. San Diego is cool, Megan. Yeah. I, um, I went to the TwitchCon in San Diego in 2019, like pre-pandemic. Um, it was quite fun. Cool place. So it'll be nice to go back. I am a little bit anxious about the idea of going to a convention again. I feel like... Um, I feel like my anxiety has gotten worse <laughs> since before, which is weird. I guess it's maybe just a different kind of anxiety. I don't know, but I'm a little bit nervous about the idea of going to a convention again. Um, but anyway, we booked a hotel room, so that'll be good. Last time we stayed in an Airbnb, and I mean this as absolutely no disrespect to any of my friends, but like, I really needed more alone time. <laughs> TwitchCon. Um, I was, it's, it's not good. Like, I think you might understand this, but like, for example, after I did my meetup at TwitchCon last year, like the meetup line, it's so fun. It's so cool. It wasn't last year. It was two years ago because of COVID. Um, but it's, it's so draining. Like after that, I don't want to talk to anybody. <laughs> like I need to go lay down in a dark room. <laughs> like, because I really want everyone to have a good experience. Like, if I'm going to do a meetup line, I want to make sure everybody's having a good time. But, like, it's it's overwhelming to meet a lot of people, you know? And I don't want to, like, then hang out with people afterward. Like, <laughs> the social meter is so drained. I need to go lay down alone. And just being at a convention in general is really draining. So, like, the whole, the whole thing of it is, like, um, I don't know. You need to decompress a little bit. I'm sure many of you relate. <laughs> I'm sure many of you relate, but... Um, Anyway, it was tough to be, like, sharing a small space with other people that all, like, want to hang out and stuff. I need to go, like, be by myself for a sec. <laughs> um, but, anyway. <laughs> you love being alone? Yeah. <laughs> I will say that when Dan and I stayed in the Airbnb last year, it actually was nice because, um, I like having access to a kitchen when I'm traveling. Because, um, I don't do well with eating out so much, and it's nice to be able to, like, I don't know make some food at the at the airbnb <laughs> it's also a lot cheaper so um but anyway it's interesting so it's just very interesting i am looking forward to it um yeah and a bunch of my mods are gonna be there so that'll be pretty cool too but yeah even just having a microwave is nice yeah i know um just having something helps but anyway um, oh, Ivy, I respect that. I do. Sometimes you need to be alone for a little bit. Sometimes you need to be alone for a little bit. That's okay. Yeah, romance is in the air. Go for it. Am I still trying to read that first book? Ah, I just finished it. Okay. <laughs> I say as I finished it. All right, go use the bathroom. Yeah, fridge in a, fridge in a microwave is a big help for sure when you're traveling. Um... Or, yeah, for things like making your own coffee. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't drink coffee really, but that is one of those things that really helps, especially when you're traveling. Because, like, if you are one of the kind of people that needs to have coffee every day, if you have to buy it out every day, oh my god. That is expensive. <laughs> um, so it's nice to be able to, like, make it wherever you're staying, if you can. Um, get leftovers. Get some food. Um... The only friends I like to travel with are the ones that agree to, like, one to three hours of decompression alone time a day. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, I respect that. <laughs> a 
Okay, as soon as you're finished with this, do you want to read another book? You need to read three. The first unicorn, perhaps? I like that plan. I very much like that plan. Um, okay. Anyway. <laughs> You're an instant coffee kind of person? Yeah. I'm just not a coffee kind of person. So I, th I think this may be a lucky thing about me. Oh, don't worry. I didn't forget that lobster is missing. I did uh, post something to the like to find them. Love in the time of sandwiches. Read that instead. Um, but anyway, hail Artemis, Bethany, Weasel. Thank you for the subs. What floor am I using? This is a base game one. Um, after Disney, me and my friend would put on a TV show and sit on our laptops for two hours in silence before bed. <laughs> no, but you need that, especially after like. I don't know, places like Disney are so much. Like, it's so crowded, it's so hot here. Like, it's it's a lot. So you do need to go back and just sit in the quiet when you get home. Like, that is absolutely what you need. Especially if you're gonna do it again the next day. Like, you really need to go sit in silence. <laughs> um, but anyway, I that I think is a sign of a good friendship, to be honest. Like, the fact that that kind of thing- sometimes that kind of thing feels awkward, you know? With some people, but not with everyone. And that's good. But, anyway. <laughs> sometimes you just need some peace. Very much relate to that, for sure. <laughs> Go to Disney just for lunch sometimes? Oh, do you have an annual pass? That's pretty cool. I like the idea of being able to go just for a little bit. Um, that's kind of fun. Especially, like, if you live nearby and you can, like, easily just go for, like, a couple hours in the evening. Like, um, a couple times in my life, my mom and I had annual passes when I was younger. And we used to go after work sometimes, after she would get home from work, like, on Fridays, just to Epcot. And we would go to Epcot at, like, 6 o'clock and then come home at, like, 9. That's- that's nice. <laughs> it's not overwhelming, it's not as hot, the lines are usually shorter for rides and stuff, like, um, you can just go watch the fireworks and leave, like, that's one of the- the beautiful things about living in- like, living nearby to stuff like that, but, um, obviously not everybody can do that, I just happen to live close, so. Um, but, anyway. Anyway, you also get free parking with an annual pass. That's the other thing. The parking is like $25 at Disney. Do you know what? Oh my god. There's this hotel in Florida. It's kind of like nearby to Disney. It's called Gaylord Palms. And there was, um, they do like events and stuff around Christmas time. And me and my mom and Dan went to one of them just because we were kind of curious like what they had going on there. It was $35 to park at the hotel. I'm sorry. I know you're like a big fancy hotel and you've got events going on, but like, no way you're charging $10 more than Disney to park at the hotel. Like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> that is ridiculous. Why is it more than Disney? Parking in California is like that though. Yeah, well, we live in Central Florida, Brew. <laughs> this isn't the same! <laughs> um, yeah, they have like a water park thing at the Gaylord Palms too, Cal. Um, so it definitely is a fancy hotel, and I understand they're charging a lot for parking, but like, I still think it's ridiculous. I still stand by it being ridiculous. It's too much. So, that's why you take trains? <laughs> well. We don't have those around these parts. <laughs> okay, I need to come, like, greet the dog quickly. This is urgent. Welcome back. But, anyway. Well, we didn't spend the night there, Christine. We just went for, like, the evening. So, I suppose that's part of it. But also, you know what? I won't lie to you. The fact that I learned recently, I didn't know this, but I learned recently that Disney charges for parking at their hotels. And I find that ridiculous too. Like, it's so expensive to stay there. So expensive to stay there. And you charge for parking at the hotel even? Like, 
I don't know. I don't agree with that. Disney, you make enough money. But the thing is, people will pay for it. Like, they have no choice. So, they can just do whatever they want. I know a lot of hotels do that, but it's like, the audacity of Disney, who is already charging you so much money. <laughs> Never driven to a Disney hotel, so that's news to you. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> fair enough. Um... <laughs> Oh no, wait, my mom just texted me a picture of one of her plants not doing well, and she said, I have a Jeffrey situation. <laughs> Please send prayers. Because my mom's been traveling on business, she only got back today, it looks like no one in the house watered her plant. Much like when I went to help Dan move, and my family almost killed my plant. So, just for the record, the days that I was over there helping take care of the, the lizard when I was lizard sitting, that plant was being watered. So, it's not my fault. I wasn't supposed to go the past few days. That's Brett's fault. So, <laughs> not to throw my brother under the bus, but. <laughs> no, it's my whole family's fault for not watering the plan. You just realized Rick is gone? What is with the Rick panic? Rick is right here. Guys, I never understood this. Rick Astley is never always in my background. My Rick cardboard cutout is never there permanently. I have had this man in my room for over a year. He is not here most of the time. He's in this corner, and he goes to that corner as a treat sometimes. <laughs> we can't have Rick every day. It loses the joy. He exists for special occasions. But everyone gets so nervous about him. They'll be like, I just noticed he's not there. And I'm like, he hasn't been there since the end of May. Like, <laughs> I guess he was there last Saturday for the Rick stream, but... Um, don't worry. Don't worry. Rick is fine. But he's not always there. It's- it's only for tr a treat. Jeffrey, my plant is spelled with a G. Jeffrey. Um, where's my Pietro stuffed animal? He's on my couch, but on the left side. He's right here. You just can't see. I don't want to pan the camera over, because I'm not trying to show out my window, but... Um... <laughs> anyway, you can have Rick as a treat on special occasions, and that's it. Go to sleep. Back to sleep. Back to sleep. Is this build on my YouTube? Yeah, this build video is. Um, it's called something like building an apartment building in The Sims, or like something like that. Like something about an apartment building is what the video is called. Um, so, um, it was a fun video. The building one? Was it really? That's very nice of you to say, Hope. I think you're lying, but... That's really nice of you to say. <laughs> How's my house going? Any big update? Oh my god, yes, 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 yes! They're putting in the counter soon! They, um, like, measured and, like, had people come, like... They call it, like, templating or something for the counters? I don't want- I don't understand it. But they came and, like, templated for the counters or whatever on Friday. So yesterday. I don't really know what that means. I assume they're just templating for, like, how they have to cut the slabs, but they did that on, um, yesterday. So I'm gonna have countertops soon. Finally. Finally. Because at that point, I can move. <laughs> I just have no sinks at the moment. There is literally zero sinks in my entire house. Not in any of the bathrooms. Because, so, long story short, um, we kept, like, all the cabinets in the bathrooms, like, where the sinks were, but because we were buy buying new kitchen counters, because we, like, changed the kitchen layout, so we had to, um, like, when you buy a uh, countertop slab, you buy the whole slab. Like, you can't just buy, like, oh, I need, like, this dimension. Like, you pay for the slab, and then you will have excess, probably. Um, because if you need, like, two slabs for the kitchen, you might have, like, some slivers and stuff that you need. So we have excess from one of the slabs that we can put, like, on the bathroom counters, which is pretty nice. Um, but because of that, we took all the counters off. <laughs> and now there's no counters, and they're, like, undermount sinks, so there's no sinks in the house, so, you, you know. Um, not one. Not in any of the bathrooms, not in the kitchen. <laughs> not one sink. Um, but... Anyway, and their counters are all gonna match everywhere, so that's pretty nice too, I guess. Um, we just got like a- it's like a white quartz. It has like a little bit of speckling in it as well, so. Um, will I do a finished house tour after I move all my furniture in? Of the new house? Um, probably not. Of this house? 
after I leave, yes. Like, I'll probably film it before I move out and, and stuff, and then I'll post it on YouTube, maybe, if I feel comfortable. Um, but I don't know if I'll share everything in the new house. Um, publicly, publicly, everywhere. I think. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Um, but anyway, we're gonna have counters soon, so that'll be nice. <laughs> that will be nice. But anyway, I know I would like to- this is the thing, right? I love watching people's house tour videos, but I don't trust anyone on the internet. I'm trying to be so careful about things, <laughs> like, um, I've shown a lot of the new house, but like very much construction zone versions of the new house. Um, I have a lot of anxiety about, uh, the house because of the fact that, like, I- people try and dox me so often, and I have people, like, coming to this house in real life, like, yes, literally coming here to my house in real life, um, so I have a lot of anxiety surrounding that, so I'm trying to be careful, <laughs> so, um, just need to be, um, private about it, so. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> it's an unfortunate situation, but. Not booking any trips until I can wash my hands? Yeah, Hope, don't worry, it's okay. You don't have to come visit until I have sinks. I understand. <laughs> I don't blame you for not wanting to come visit until I have sinks. It's okay, I get it. I, too, draw the line at sinks. Um, <laughs> so... <laughs> um, you know, it's, it's reasonable. It's reasonable. Um, you can wash your hands in the bathtub if you need to. We have a hose. The previous owners left two hoses, actually. So I have two hoses. Um, not to brag, <laughs> but <laughs> I have two hoses, so... <laughs> um, but anyway. Yeah, kind of cake. I'm sad that I have to deal with it, too. <laughs> it's alright. I feel it's a lot easier for me now that I'm not alone all the time, now that Dan is here. Um, but, like, when the people were coming to my house and I was by myself, um, I think, as you can probably imagine, there's a lot of anxiety with, like, people, viewers coming to my home when I'm, like, a woman living alone. Like, um, it's still scary now, but I think it's less scary, like, because obviously before, they knew that I was, like, a woman living alone <laughs> as well. You know, like, they knew I was alone. I knew I was alone. Like, that just, that part, you never know what their intentions are. And I don't necessarily think that, like, having an extra person in the house might deter people, but, like, um, it makes me feel better knowing that I'm not by myself. So, um, anyway. Anyway. Um, yeah, I, that's the thing, Bruin. I've, I struggle to understand how people in those situations could have good intentions. I mean, like, most of the time they do it while I'm streaming, um, and they're, like, very clearly, like, trying to spam, like, knock the door and ring the doorbell and stuff, like, I think with the intention of, like, scaring me or maybe getting attention on stream, and I struggled to think of a scenario where those intentions could possibly be good. Also, in general, going to someone's house, especially with someone that you don't know, uninvited is not good, and, like, you found my address through malicious means, like, everything about this is not, like, it's not good, <laughs> so... Um, no, there, I don't think you can, like, spin that to, to be like, oh, they just like you. Like, enough to put me in danger, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> like, anyway, I'm sure many of you understand, so. Um, it's just weird. So, just weird. Um, you know what? Speaking of, like, people showing up uninvited to streams and stuff. So, a lot of people do, like, I, I've been thinking about this a lot today. Um because it happened to some of my friends recently, but, like, those people that do IRL streams, like, people that, they walk around, like, a city streaming, like, in public, how do they deal with that? Because surely, like, you're, like, broadcasting your, your, your location live, like, all the time, so they probably get so much of that. That is so scary. Like, I, I don't think I could ever do that. And the thing is, like, it it's not like everybody is going to be weird about it, but, like, it only takes one, you know? It only takes one person to be, like, bad. And then you're in serious danger, you know? Like, it's really scary. Um, I think most of those people that do that don't usually stream alone, though, which is good. Um, but 
I remember, I forget who it was, but I remember hearing about, like, I'm sure this happens, like, literally every day to these streamers, but these they were, like, at a restaurant, like, live streaming, and people figured out what restaurant they were at, and they started, like, spam calling, like, harassing the restaurant and stuff. Like, that kind of stuff is just so, like, you just ruin it. Like, you're ruining it for everybody by, by being like that. I forget, Brew, I forget, I don't remember, um, but, like, why? Why are you doing that? <sighs> anyway, it's kind of scary. Um, what the point of live stream like that is. It's pretty cool, Cater Tots. I think that IRL streams are actually really cool. Like, like being able to stream yourself doing stuff like that is really interesting. And it's kind of a fun, like, I don't know. It's just, it's, it's really different kind of content than what I make, but it is really cool to like bring people around with you live and there's something special about it being live. I mean, it's kind of similar to how people like vlogs and stuff so much. Um, but like it's live, you know, there's, it's just, there's something like kind of special about like the live factor of that. Um, but obviously it's dangerous <laughs> because you're also live broadcasting your location. Um, but it's kind of cool. They'll stream themselves like going shopping or I don't know, like it's just, um, it's just kind of interesting. I know it might not like appeal to you so much, but in the same way as like, maybe they don't, that person might not care about watching game streams, you know? Um, but anyway, I don't think I could ever do that. <laughs> I don't think I could ever do that. So, um, I think especially in a situation like that, that's one of those, those, um, experiences where like, I think people will more so than in other internet circles kind of get like a weird parasocial relationship with you. I think that streamers have that a lot in general, but especially if you're like IRL streaming and like vlogging and stuff, people get like such a, I don't know, I guess they feel like entitled to those parts of your life even more so than like if you're making content on a game or something because they're used to seeing it from you. Um, I don't know, so that part of it, I guess, is kind of dangerous, too. It does make for, like, a deeper attachment, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know, and that happens across, like, everywhere on the internet, but I think more so when you're, like, more actively sharing more parts of your, like, everyday life, you know? Um, but anyway. Hi, me and my dog are here now. <gasps> Hello, Maggie and dog! <laughs> Hello, Maggie and dog! Um, but anyway. <laughs> I really want to be friends with someone, but they don't seem to want to be friends with me. How can I make them my friend? Oh, just keep being friendly. Just keep being friendly. Um. <laughs> you heard daughter? No, 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 dog, dog. Thought you were saying that IRL. I'm like, guys, I need some advice. I really want to be friends with somebody, but they don't want to be friends with me. <laughs> We've all been there. We've all been there. Um. Yeah. <laughs> no, bro, you saying that just reminded me of something. Oh my god. Okay, this one time, you so Brew was talking about like the safest place to IRL streams at a convention where people like already know you're gonna be there. So this was at TwitchCon. I don't think it was at TwitchCon San Diego. Maybe it was the one before that in San Jose. So it was a couple few years ago, like 2018 or something. Um and I had a, like, official meetup line at TwitchCon, and it was, like, ending, so, like, my line was, like, I had gone through everybody. I wasn't, like, a huge streamer either, but I thought I had a pretty decent amount of people come. Like, it was a really nice time, and I had, like, finished my line, so I was kind of, like, you know, like, waiting for the last, like, five minutes and, like, clearing out my stuff and things, and this IRL streamer guy, I wish I remember who it was. I have no clue. It wasn't, like, a, you know, giant streamer, but this IRL streamer guy comes up, he has like a selfie stick in his phone, he's streaming, and he shows up and starts mocking me for having an empty line. <laughs> okay, I have a line. My name is on a board up here, and I'll have you know that I finished my line. I met everybody already. But like, it was, oh, it was so mean. It was so mean. And again, I'll have you know, I have an official meetup line at TwitchCon. Do you? Probably not. Like, <laughs> it was so mean. And he was streaming. So, like, I didn't see his chat, obviously. But, like, his old chat was probably mocking me, too. And I was right there. 
what is wrong with you? Like, what a jerk. Anyway, it's fine. I wish I remember who it was. I didn't, like, I, I don't think I, like, remember looking at his badge or anything. I don't really remember the situation, but, um, anyway, it's just mean. Like, why did you do that? Did I say anything? No, I don't think I did. I think I was kind of like, oh, hi, because the thing is, he, like, came up to me, like, like, I don't know, kind of friendly, like he was gonna talk to me and then he started making fun of me to his chat. So I think I kind of just like laughed it off and then in my head was like, what the heck? <laughs> like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, I don't know, but I, d I don't know. I didn't, I definitely didn't like say anything to him about it. I mean, I'm not confident enough to be like, well, at least I have a line. Like, I'm not gonna, you know, I might've been thinking it, but in my head I was like, please leave me alone. This is really weird. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I've had a lot of weird experiences at TwitchCon in my, in my day. Most people are so nice, but like, I've had a lot, like the, I tell a story sometimes too, but in, at one point at TwitchCon, this was, this was in San Jose as well, the same TwitchCon. Um, I was in line. So they have like a, a merch store at TwitchCon. Um, and it's kind of fun. People get really excited about it because before they didn't used to sell Twitch merch online. I know it's kind of silly, but anyway. And they would open up the Twitch merch store for Twitch partners like the day before the event started. Um, and they would have like a partner line. And so me and one of my friends were waiting in the partner line at TwitchCon to get the merch. We had like just put our, picked our badges up and we were just waiting. Um, because it wasn't the convention yet. It was like the next day was supposed to be the convention. And so when you're in the line, like people are really friendly at conventions like this. Like they get very chatty and they're like, oh, like, so what do you stream? You know, like people kind of talk and I guess maybe like to an extent kind of network, but um, a lot of it is really friendly. Like people are, are like genuinely curious to hear what you have to stream. And so um, the guy that was in front of us in line started like talking to us and asking like, oh, what do you stream? And I kid you not, this man, when I said to him that I streamed The Sims, he was like, oh. <laughs> and then he like literally turned around and started talking to people in front of him instead. Like he fully was like, oh. <laughs> and then started talking to other people instead. And he was like a bodybuilding streamer or something. He gave me his business card. Um, so he was like a fitness streamer. So I understand The Sims is not really your thing, but like he fully like turned around and stopped talking to me. <laughs> he was like a fitness streamer, Magix. I don't know. Business card. Well, a lot of people bring business cards to conventions, um, especially cause again, they're like, they're doing a lot of networking and stuff, um, with, I guess like brands, but also with other streamers and things. So everyone brings, not, I'm, I've never done it, but a lot of people bring business cards to TwitchCon. Um, so he had given me his and he's like a fitness streamer, but what's fitness streamer? He like works out on stream basically. Um, I don't think that's weird. I think that's kind of cool. And this is the thing, right? Like when I encounter a person that streams a thing that I've never heard of, my reaction isn't like, oh, that's weird. You must have like zero viewers. I'm like, oh my God, that's really cool. I didn't know people stream that. Can you tell me more about it? Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like, I, my reaction isn't, because I, I think the reason that he was like, oh, Sims, was like, oh, nobody watches that. I don't need to talk to you. Let's find someone better to talk to. Like, I think that's why he was saying that is because he assumed I had like no viewers or something. So I wasn't like worth his time. But like, when I encounter someone who streams something different, I'm like, that's so interesting. Like how, what's that community like? What do you like? That's so cool. Like, I don't know. I'm just curious to hear about it. I'm not like going to dismiss you because I think you're not big enough to talk to. Like, anyway, the difference is that you're nice. Maybe, maybe, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, it, it is funny though. It is funny. Um, but anyway, <laughs> The other thing is that when people, like, um, when I've been with Dan at stuff like this, a lot of times they assume that he is the streamer and I am, like, the plus one. <laughs> or even, like, at the grocery store, like, if someone, like, overhears Twitch or if, like, one of us has, like, a Twitch, like, Dan has a Twitch mask, there's, like, an insta assumption that Dan is the streamer. And obviously Dan streams too. But, like... <laughs> <laughs> I did it first, so <laughs> usually Dan's like, she's the big one, not me. Like Dan like makes a joke about it usually, but like, I don't know. It is very clear to me why they assume that. And it is because I am a little girl, <laughs> but anyway, I think that had a lot to do with the Insta dismissal of the Sims as well. 
it's the fact that I'm a little girl. So, um, but whatever, whatever, used to it, I suppose. Um, it's the nature of the beast, I guess. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll have you know, a lot of people stream The Sims and a lot of people do really well streaming The Sims. So that's all I'll say. <laughs> That's all I'll say. It's also one of the, those things where, like, everybody's played The Sims before. Like, why are you so dismissive of The Sims? Like, everybody plays The Sims. Everybody's heard of The Sims. Like... <laughs> that reminds me, when I went to, um, a couple years ago, I set up, like, um, a, a business bank account, like, to have, like, my YouTube money paid into and stuff. Um, and so when I was at the bank, the guy was like, oh, so like, what do you do? Like, what is the business? And I was like, kind of explaining how I do YouTube and stream and stuff. And he was like, oh my God, me and my friends stream. Like we, we play a lot of like old Nintendo games. Like they, they like play like really old Nintendo games on stream. And I was like, wow, that's so cool. And then he was like, what do you stream? And I was like, Animal Crossing and The Sims. And he was like, people still play Animal Crossing? Okay, Mr. I stream old Nintendo games? Like, what? <laughs> Do people still play those? What are you talking about? Like, what do you mean? But yes, people still play Animal Crossing. At that point, it was probably like, honestly, it was probably like, like May of 2020. Like Animal Crossing had probably like just come out. The new, the new one. Like New Horizons was probably like fresh. Um, but like, <laughs> it was Animal Crossing prime time. Like everybody plays Animal Crossing. What are you saying? <laughs> anyway, it's just kind of funny. Uh, especially because he literally streams old Nintendo games. Like that's your whole thing. So, <laughs> I don't know what I said to him. I think I was, I think I probably was like, yeah, a new one just came out. Like, I think I, I don't know. Yeah, I told that story back then when it happened too, because I thought it was so funny. <laughs> Um, but you're too nice. I'm not gonna fight with somebody. Like, I'll laugh at them in my head and I'll come on to stream and make fun of them in front of everybody else. What I will do is I will be nice to their face and then, and then go home and get with my friends on stream and I'll tell them in front of 3,000 people all the ways that person says, said something funny. Um, so... <laughs> Anyway, um, I got, I got what I needed out of this. <laughs> you would tell them off? Yeah, I'm just not, like, brave. I'm not brave, to be perfectly honest with you, <laughs> so. And it's fun. This is good content, okay? This is good Twitch content. We're laughing together at men. So, um, playfully call them out without being aggressive or mean. Yeah, I would like to be that way. I love, like, I love hearing stories of people being that way. Like, when people say things to you that are, like, offensive or misogynistic and stuff, and people are like, why did you say that? That's a weird thing to say. I, I love hearing about people that are brave enough to say those things. I'm just not. At least not yet. Like, I just take it. And I, like... But the whole, like, playing dumb in response to them, calling out, I would love to be that way. I would love to be that way but I'm just not in real life. <laughs> On the internet, I think I am, but not in real life, <laughs> so. Um, anyway, anyway, maybe someday, maybe someday. We can all work on that together. We can work on being brave. Oh my goodness, hi Kayla, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I'm talking about being a weenie. Actually, I'm not. We're talking about all the times that um, gamer men have disrespected me in, in public. <laughs> Dropping off my kids to you. Love you. Hi, Candidly Kayla's kids. Tell us, have gamer men disrespected you in public? <laughs> um, thoughts on that? Yes, I'm sorry. If so, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're playing the Not So Very Challenge though right now. Um, and just kind of chatting as we usually do. Does Honey have a friend or are they an actual loner? No, Honey has no friends right now. Oh my God, actually in hindsight, we maybe we should try and make one friend. Honey's friends. 
All right. Um, requirements, age, team. Let's see. This is the best we're gonna get. Um, I might pick myself a couple of options. And then, um, we can always, you know... Okay, we've got Britta filter over here. <laughs> Wanda's got purple hair. Wanda could fit in well with our group. Wanda. Okay. I like that this guy's last name is Swan. I do like Britta filter. Um... Who else? That's... That's only three. We can pick two more. I'm only gonna end up being friends with, like, one, probably. Eden Bell. Are you related to my Bell family? Let's pick that one. That's good. I like that. I don't know. Maybe Tamika as well. All right. I'm just going to be friends with one of them. I'm not really in the market for more than one friend. That seems really scary. But this will be good. <laughs> we'll meet some we'll meet some other teens and then I'll pick one to befriend. That is all we need. <laughs> oh, it's possible that the Brita filter one is related to one of Christine's Sims cuz Christine has I placed Christine's Shelby family in this save. Um, so that's cool. But also, if we become friends with my Bell family, that could be a cool crossover. Because the Bell family is my legacy sims from my YouTube series. So. Will I add more family sometimes to my saves? Yeah, half I usually do that a lot. Um, I probably won't do that again until maybe Honey has kids, but um, we've been, we, we add sims frequently to update the save. We just did like a complete save overhaul where I deleted like all of the townies before we started Not So Berries. I guess it was like two gens ago, but um, we deleted like all of the regularly generated townies and then we put in um, a bunch off the gallery that you all made. So um, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. Oh my gosh, my mom just sent me another picture. <laughs> My mom is so funny. So we, um, every year, every year when we carve pumpkins with my, with my family, uh oh, Lewis passed away. Um, my sister always tries to scatter some of the pumpkin seeds in like the little like patch of flowers by the front door at my parents' house. And my mom just messaged that there is a pumpkin plant growing. It's not like big, big yet. It's small. Um, but my mom just messaged there's a pumpkin plant growing <laughs> in her patch of flowers. But every year, Shanna tries to plant some. They don't always, like, grow very big. We've never actually had a pumpkin grow out of any of them. Um, but literally every year, my sister tries to plant some of the seeds. <laughs> just in the front yard as well. Like, <laughs> it's going to eat the flowers. No, they never, they never survive. This has been going on for years and years. It's never, it's never eaten the flowers. Um, they never get that big, so. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's kind of funny. I like that idea. Circle of life, you know? <laughs> okay, well, I should probably get off stream, like, relatively soon here. I've had a lot of fun today, chat. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, chaotic younger siblings. Yeah, well, I don't even think it's chaotic. I think it's fun. My mom likes it, too. She doesn't care. She thinks it's fun also, <laughs> so. Um... But anyway, it's kind of exciting. My sister is almost 17 enthusiastic. She, her birthday is at the end of July, so. Um, she's almost 17. They're getting old. My little siblings are getting old. I don't like it. It's horrible. Okay, life update. Chat. Tomorrow is a big day. Do you know why? Tomorrow, I am meeting Rick Astley in person. I'm not kidding. 
this is really happening tomorrow. Rick is coming. So he's on tour right now. He's going to be in Orlando tomorrow. And like, I'm supposed to meet him before the concert. When I think about it, I feel sick. I'm so nervous. <laughs> but it's tomorrow. I think we're going to try and vlog. I think we're going to try and vlog. Um, but wish me luck because I'm going to need it. Obviously, I will tell you. Should I bring my CD and ask him to sign it? Oh my god, I should. I should bring my CD and ask him to sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's a good idea. I'll bring a pen too, or like a Sharpie or something. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be really good. Oh my god. <laughs> no, I can't bring the cardboard cutout for him to sign. I can't bring a cardboard cutout. You think I can bring that thing into the concert venue? Oh my god. Anyway, when I think about it, I feel so scared. I'm terrified of this. Oh, okay. Everything's fine. Yes, you can. No, I can't! Probably would be considered a weapon. I don't know. It's giant. Bring it- buy an extra ticket. <laughs> I, buy a, I buy an extra ticket for my Rick Ashley cardboard cutout. No, I will- I don't- I- I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna bring my cardboard cutout. But I will bring my CD. Um, and my tears. Oh my god, I'm so scared. He's gonna think I'm so weird. Oh no. <laughs> he already thinks I'm weird. He met me on stream. Okay. Just remember that, Kayla. Just remember that. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> okay. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go find someone to raid. <laughs> hey, Angelica, imagine play no show, uh, gambling, sleepy, Jess, thank you for the subs and stuff, by the way. Um, he's a human too. I know, but he, I, like, it's been such a thing for so many years that I'm a Rick Astley stan, and you know what they say about not meeting your idols, you know? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I think I would like to go raid my friend Claire. Claire Witch Baby, you know her, you love her. It looks like she's playing The Sims. I'm very excited to go see and say hi. She was also here in the chat earlier, so this will be a good one to go hang out with. And I've got a 17-month resub to share, so I think we'll go raid Claire. Again, wish me luck tomorrow. Don't worry, I will keep you all updated. I will post an Instagram picture literally as soon as I get the photo. Like, I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna post it. Like, instantaneously. So stay tuned. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and stuff so that you don't forget. Um, so that you don't miss out and then I'll probably vlog it and stuff. We'll see how it goes. I'm not a good vlogger, maybe I'll try. At the very least, I can film stuff to show streams when I post on my main channel, you know? Um, but anyway, have the best rest of your night. Have a good weekend. <sighs> Wish me luck. <laughs> Edmonton Page, thank you for the subs. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Say hi to Claire for me, and I'll see you all later, okay? I love you. I miss you. All right. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, I'm terrified. I don't want to think about it anymore. Oh my god. Okay, okay, bye, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Stop streaming.